Whoa, cyberpunk. Customizable genitalia. Really? <laughs> Stiff competition. Customizable genitals in a quest that sure sounds like the main character crucifying some poor souls. Some locations depict mutilated corpses with open chest cavities and or exposed organs and trails. During one quest, players assist a character by hammering nails through his hands and feet. That's cool. Mm, that's neat. Players can select a gender and customize their character. Customization can include depictions of breasts, buttocks, and genitalia, as well as various sizes and combination of genitals. Ooh, a combination. Can I get one of each? I'd like one of each genital, please. <clears throat> hmm. Well, all right. That's kind of neato. I like that. <clears throat> a bit of a mix and match going. Boom, boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. <clears throat> How close I got to adults only? Well, yeah. Every every uh, every game in Australia is is mature. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm fairly certain that Animal Crossing has an adult only. Just video games in general in Australia is for adults only. They do not like their kids playing uh, video games here. The ball peen veg. <laughs> this is before mods, yeah. I definitely want to get one of each genital. I'll get one of each genital. Plus. <clears throat> ah. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. We're just going to jump right in. Um, I'm, I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. I'm still trying to wake up. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, Sarah's like, you know what we should watch? Last night, it was it was like 11, 11 p.m. or something, and I was already like starting to drift to sleep. Just, you know what we should watch? We should watch Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. It's been a long time since I played, uh, since, 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 I, since I watched that. <clears throat> I was like, okay, yeah, I guess we could watch that. And <laughs> the, 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 the one that we watched was on Tempo's Plex, and it was like the super duper extended version. It was, <laughs> we watched the whole thing. It was three hours and 40 minutes. And my bow. My God. I'm not sure. I I I, I saw this temple came in here uh, yesterday or day before or something. Like that. Three hours of credits. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer we have left of this game. We're probably going to crack into maybe some... Uh, it's either it's either XCOM, Chimera Squads, or Gears Tactics after this, probably. It was in here yesterday? Yeah, I reckon so. I need some gas. Zip, 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 zip. Ow. It's gonna be it's gonna be a nightmare for sure. I'm I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be any good at it, but I, I definitely want to check it out. I want to see what it's like. It's got some pretty good reviews. Yeah, I don't really I don't really intend to make it past the tutorial, but uh, I'm gonna give it the old college push. I'll give that tutorial the old college push. I will.
It's hardcore. I can imagine, dude. What's up, Cloud? Morning, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That'd be so great, dude. Oh, man. Mass Effect. Mass Effect uh, tactics. That would be sick. That'd be crazy. Oh man, that'd be awesome. I guess we should probably be grabbing some all these like little goodies, huh? We have some like some flyers to to to, to use and all kinds of shit. So that'd be huge money, yeah. Huge money. I wonder what uh, what Bioware's like. Really, what they're what they're working on, man. What are they working on right now? Can I use a flyer here. This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. I know you got a contract to pick up. That would be folk, huge, too, yeah. But you got to be quick. If you're not back soon, you're gonna get stuck on the other side. I understand. You gotta get your gun. Oh, okay, I got you. Hey, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Anthem? Oh, man. I actually just uninstalled Anthem. I was I was going through my computer and, like, uh, cleaning everything out. Apparently, I still had Anthem on this computer. Hi, how are you? I am good. Thank you. My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy? Are you brand new? You're so shiny. I am 18 hours old. Oh, good. And I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far. Dragon I've liked almost all of them. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef and another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. Sounds like I you spilled a little bit of beer chef. on my table. Why do you say yesterday? That? Just mm, a smells like shit in so here. So what happened? Like a, All the humans in the was like a, like, a, like an alleyway then in the back of a bar. Rolling, then twitching. Then they were still. I guess they were poisoned by the gas leak, and you were the only one left. Yes, they didn't instantiate my base programming, so I am in generic mode. I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite thing. What will you do if you can get out of here, GN? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. They, well, they, they want to make it a live service like Anthem? Like... That would suck. I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner. And my market value will be far less. If I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore. Not since Why can't the they just make changed? it like Origins? We're only considered just make it like Origins. After we've been What's up, Suspense? Born. And we aren't born till we're given a name. You have a name? No, that is my service tag. Oh. Can I give you a name? No. No, only my first legal employer <laughs> no. can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract. Usually, for at least ten years. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. I really Just like chill helping. chilling, man. Right on. I have only done twelve different things so far. But helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying help. about my own mortality. Sure, 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 sure. He likes to help. Quincy Sharp. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh, looks like we're stuck here, Mr. I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic neoclassic choice called Tahoma. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. And they say your name, which is... Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. In the flesh. CEO. Wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. You don't know which corp you work for? <laughs> we just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just <laughs> use it for the upper-level management in corps. How do you get a job as a CEO? Foresight, leadership, 
boldness. Exactly, Mei-Chi. Best, outside best the box. Dragon Age. Blue Dragon Age Origins. Thinking, being a savage, originality. Incredible. Those are the combat was so good. You a real game changer. So good. And money, right? No one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. My father also left me a small trust fund. Uh-huh. Is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken <laughs> since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law <laughs> after he ran over that colored lady. Oh, I told yeah, Sarah, I like, well, why don't we set out another cup of wine and let's film, let's, let's put up a camera, let's film it. And just see what happens. And she's like, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, I swear to God, I will never give you any more shit. If I watch that, if I watch that recording and I see that wine going down because this boogie ghost is drinking it, I will be, I'll be behind you 100% with anything you want to, anything you want to believe. And also, we might be, um, you know, rich. We might, we might, we would be the first people ever to get real proof that there's spooky ghosts. Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? I didn't think I was. <laughs> Look, <laughs> no, no, it no, wasn't no, my no. fault. You yeah. know that. I know that. No. The lab has accidents all the time. It was definitely one of the <laughs> Colin, intents. there is. Do you work in Sarah a lab? Sarah believes that her spirit guide I drank some wine off of our table. And no, none of us could have predicted that... Are you with Corpsec? Definitely not. If you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. I told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. Ooh. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. She smoke the mushrooms or eat them. She set out, she's getting in touch with her spiritual side, and she set out a little glass of wine for her spirit guide. And somehow it got drank. She's like, no, it wasn't the dogs. It wasn't. It wasn't Laika because she doesn't drink wine. When this is this is a dog that would eat my hat if I let her, you know. Uh, but I go out there and look at look at the coffee table, and there's just like wine. There's like wine stains everywhere, like it, it like it's splashed all over the place. <laughs> so either this ghost, the spirit guide, was already drunk when he started drinking the wine and got it all over the place. Or the fucking dog did it. Hi, I remember you. Oh, thank Cora, you're here. It's good to see you, miss. What's up, dog? I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. I was hoping you could help me once again. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Of course you are. It must be very distressing for you to see someone like me stuck here with the rest i, hope this I need dies you in here. to get a message to mr octavius butler he'll know what to do maybe i can help you yeah i, I think alco alcohol is not can. like this is a serious obviously it's not matter. good for them but you need to get mr octavius when butler. apparently when dogs get you like high remember a message drunk for me. Can you they get really that? scared maybe. because like they're here is the message hearing and stuff is like all the sounds and stuff are really amplified so it like spooks them write this down dear I think I can remember it. I understand there is toxic gas. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. But don't worry, Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you. Mr. Butler, dear, get going quickly now. Mm, I know the feeling too, because I don't smoke. I don't smoke a lot of weed anymore. But I did get super stones uh, a couple months ago when I watched Alien, and it was scary, dude. <laughs> it did, it, it, and my heart was racing, man. It scared me. <clears throat> Even though I've seen that movie a hundred times, 
it was still it, it it was like watching it for the first time again. It was scary. It spooked me good. Who makes this game? I don't know. <clears throat> Your friend would fill his bong with smoke and then his cat would shove his head in the in the stem and clear <laughs> and breathe until the bong stem was cleared. Jesus. Hello, miss. <laughs> Not miss. I'm a doctor. Oh, it while stoned, yeah. I probably Are have. You okay, doctor? I used to smoke a yes. lot of weed. <laughs> yes, sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. Are you a... Oh, yeah, Grim. I'm just stuck here like you. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I call They it. say it was a toxic It was acid. scary. <laughs> Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much worse than that. Are you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. And the stress. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. Yo, Cab Drew, I just what logged on to my gas? ranger on Cellos. Because I, I, I updated EverQuest. I'm like getting ready for apart. Aerodune. Explosions, gas leaks, trash <laughs> updated mountains, EQ. Logic and I got on my bombs, ranger just like a couple minutes ago. Getting relocated. The economy is in He's so flux. decked out my in that era. But he's such a he's such a puss compared a to everybody else now. And that that, that server moves way too fast. Year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No, I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers what. Like my ranger was. But bad answers are worse than no answers. Probably well, one of the top, pro out? I would say probably Take in the top, top 10 rangers on the server. But he can stop worrying um, about me. At that, at that time. Eat some takoyaki. Do you, I did play a lot of Will you be able to quest. afford the rescue insurance if Played someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college 10 years. It doesn't matter though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. I had like, um, you know, the, all the end, the end game raid boss gear on every slot. More survivors. Beep, 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 Who else needs a good talking to? Takayaki is so good. It's the sergeant now, huh? Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Hey, good paddle. Sergeant Kyle, pleased to meet you. My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? 312 years, man. Using and the school boy. canoe, that's a paddler. Or android and circuit board. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, good one. Hey, what do you know about this accident? Very little, Mom. I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Do you have any friends or family looking for you? I had I had really I high hopes for um. waiting for me at the oil it, it part two. It's my local. You know, like Are the new one. Are you retired? But it turned out to be a yes, comedy. Mom, there's not many of us Mark like Every moment was ruined by a stupid joke. Antiques. I was originally programmed to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. The Rat Wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the What genre is this? It's, it's like a um, scurrying down corridors parcel delivery swarm. service kind of game. Of them. Kind Millions. of deliver parcels, but um, start to un, un, really unravel a like a, a deeper rats. story. It sounds more like you were an exterminator. If you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? Barely a penny to my name. The deliveries aren't tough. No, it's not a very tough game at all. It's more of like a hello. It is Camus. Narrative. Camus the dog. I am not a lot of risk, but it's with good. a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to. What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. Oh God. You need to come back. Okay. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. 
And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. Mm -hmm. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? Yes. I don't know, but you have to choose now. <laughs> you should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. All right, I'll tell them. There's only one of there's choose. only one of okay. these guys that I don't want to take. I don't want to take Octavius, Mrs. Octavius Butler. I don't want to take that piece of shit. I think she's a real turd. Quincy's going to be able to help pay. He's he's going to have some money. What do you want? Whatever it is, can you make it snappy? I've got to meditate and refocus my chi. All of this stress is really bad for my stomach ulcer. Yeah, there's a bit of a mystery Gross. element to it. Look, I can get you out of here. You just have to come with me. I have a vehicle and clearance to leave the quarantine zone. That's just great. I can't wait to check my stocks when I get back. Natural disasters like these are great for debt corps like mine. Great. Just get me at the gate in a few minutes. I don't think I don't think it's uh, it, there's a lot of risk uh, involved in, in this game. I, I, I haven't like failed at all. I think you might be able to like run out of gas or something. I might take that android up front too because seems like a nice guy. Professor, I can get you out of here. Do you want to come with me? Really? Why? Am I under arrest? No. What? No. I'm just a delivery driver with a rescue <laughs> Once Huxley shows up, yeah. Some of the characters I are really memorable. I have a vehicle and clearance to leave the quarantine zone. Why didn't you say? Get me out of here. Before everyone realizes that all Yeah, Cab, I do not want to do open world stuff. I wrongly attribute this whole disaster I can play it on P99. Whatever. I'll see you at the checkpoint in two minutes. Be ready to leave. After playing on P99, I do not want to do uh, open world stuff. I just want to do my own thing. Instances. I'll tell you what, I'm not really looking forward to the first, uh, <laughs> like the first six months of the server. <laughs> oh. Hey, GN. I think you deserve a better life than 24 hours of consciousness before your personality gets wiped. I'm getting you out of here. Really? This is the most exciting thing that's happened in my whole life. Just be ready to leave. I'll get you at the checkpoint in a minute, okay? Right. Yeah. I'll just start packing my yeah, things. Yeah, that, that Octavia uh, Octavius Butler packing. is a piece of shit. She's a turd. She, de she doesn't deserve it. She doesn't deserve to get out of there. If you could hurry this up... I have to sign off on some union leader executions before they ballot Yeah, Quincy again. is not a great choice, but he apparently we need uh, we need money. We need money. This so is my best he's got money ever. In fact, this is my favorite day of my life. Much better than yesterday. I like I, I like can't GM. Wait to get to parts of the city where people aren't dying as frequently. When you get back to safety, just remember, you didn't see me. And I acted completely innocent. cool. Just like someone who didn't know anything about the accident. Mm. Red Panda Bear. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> probably that. That he probably you. He probably end up just like encouraging you to eat things off the floor and stuff. You have like a moral dilemma if you to like eat like your hot dog that rolled across the carpet. You'd be like, dude, go for it, man. <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Okay, so we dropped them all out there, huh? We are getting a call. It is Huxley again. Huxley! Put him through. <laughs> Eat my poop. I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pashta? Pashta. The game was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. I'll come get you. Send me a nav point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. <laughs> Classic. Classic Huxley. Classic Huxley. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. What are the sewers? Looks like we've pretty much got everything here, huh? 
all the items. It is a very F-Zero uh, ride. You know what racing game that I really, really loved? Jet Moto 2. I loved Jet Moto 2. Yeah. I got, I never, I didn't really play too many racing games. I never really liked them too much, but Jet Moto 2 was so much fun. Yeah. Diddy Kong Racing is, is was probably one of my favorites as well, even though it was so frustrating. I always, I always rode the, the, uh, I always chose the, the, the Mountain Dew, uh, Jet Moto. The Mountain Dew one. That was my sponsor. Oh, yeah, I've been doing that since the beginning. You just, you just get up, up top. You don't, you don't go as fast, uh, but it, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry about it, so. Oh, it's on the other side. Huxley, my dude. Uh, yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot Racing. Very good stuff. What the heck? There you go. We had to get going. Posh the down. girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the dame a nav point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. It might even be safe. Well, for for, uh, for snowboard games, I I, I played a shitload of SSX. I'm Rania. I just want to help. Still have all my Huxley physical is copies. Huxley a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you too. Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to? Not back. I don't want to go back to him. Oh, that's Pasta. Pasta. Do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant. Hmm. She's cute. I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in court set like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? <laughs> he wanted it erased, but I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Dad met with people he shouldn't. Slalom. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember Mom anymore. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. But everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads uh -oh. I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found her, Huxley. Oh no, it is happening again. Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloud Punk Driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one more hand I could play. Here we go. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in, then push the big red button. Oh, I knew he was going to sacrifice himself. Might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. All I had to say was a specific combination of words. It would prime my fuse. Introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Oh no. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd ask the dame and her dog for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was clear the way. I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. 
Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard, would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Oh, Rania, Huxley what a, what a turd. Me. And I hate Rio. Everyday idiot, what's up? I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. Let me talk to him. Micro Machine Racing, yeah. I'm not sure. Trust me. Please. I can do this. Okay, the comma's open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Pasta. Remember when Mom got sick? Do you remember what present I brought to the hospital for Mom? Pasta. I... You don't remember. Pasta. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memories so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If you cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. No, you listen here. Pasta. You have told anyone else. I haven't, but I will. If you don't let me go, I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. And if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. You can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. He... he's left the calm. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go. Poor kid. The poor kid. Pasta, I'm sorry. I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. Oh, Pasta. Oh, Pasta. Can I go through here now? Are we cool? Are we cool, dog? Ow. You still moving, Rania? Lomo? Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give. Lomo. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. Whoa. We've just got to play our parts from here. What's up, G-Rock? What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the dead. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right, then. Right on, you. <laughs> no hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you'd said yes. But that is like a weight. And if you want someone to carry it, you've got to graft that weight to their bones. Sure. You understand? No. No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh, no. What the hell? That was the phrase. How could the scumbag no. I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, Huxley. Oh, God. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, 50 seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't. You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this. I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Goodbye, Rania. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? The vents. 
If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Okay. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. I'd like Shit. to go now. Okay, let's go. There we go. We gotta save this. We gotta save our friends. Ma, thank you for the host, my man. <clears throat> Dude, I was watching you play that... Uh, is that Ziggurat or whatever? That shit looked hard as hell, man. That looked like a hard game, dude. Whoa. Uh, I played. I we did an eight-hour stream um, of this yesterday. Oh my god, I went the wrong way. The mini map is weird. <clears throat> What's going on, Mott? Dude, that Ziggurat uh, game looks hard. I'm always, I'm always a little bit spooked to play uh, roguelike games because they're just, they're just too damn hard. <laughs> oh, that fierce map vendor. That's right. It's the rotating mini map is what gets me, dude. It's rotating mini map. I think you're gonna like that beat 'em up game, though. That's a pretty. That's a pretty sweet game, if I remember. Squirrel, bro, what's up, man? Get in there. Incremental doses, yeah. I hear that. Okay, we got a couple minutes left before you sell destructorinos. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Oh, this game is awesome, dude. It's really, really good. It's so much fun. Nice. We made it. So, where do we find this hackbot? You said you had five minutes about... How could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine? So, tell me what you need. I needed the dame to look after Pashta. My sleep no is okay. More, no less. Slept all right. What do you mean? Why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. Oh, I he's needed dead. the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. <laughs> I she saw that in my head. Moving. Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Fair is what we make it. Ugh, you deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Renya. Goodbye, Huxley. That's our favorite character. Of course he's got to die. Why didn't you save him? We couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. Boom! Oh, Huxley. At least his name remains. Oh, it's gonna. That's a shame. I knew he would leave. He was too pure Don't for this you world. Don't say anything bad about Huxley. Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Yeah. Shush. Let's just drive in quiet for Hush a little now. while. Yeah, the game's really cool. I mean, there's not like a there's not like a ton of risk. It's more of it's more of just like uh, 
kind of just a, like a casual story playthrough. But man, it's it's been a great game to stream. It's been a lot of fun. It's super good. It's super good. I don't even I don't even think I'll be, I'll be able to play Cyberpunk when it comes out unless I unless I build a new computer. This computer is six years old. It's ancient. I'll have to I'll have to build a new uh, a new gaming PC. I'm ancient too, yeah. I am indeed. 34 years old. 34 years old. Next year, they're just going to take me out back and shoot me in the head. <laughs> Money Mike, what's up? Take me out by the old chemical shed. Shut your eyes, boy. Don't you look at me. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, if I wasn't on the internet, if I wasn't uh, a streamer, if I wasn't on the internet, I would be fairly young still. But since I'm a streamer, 34 in streamer years is like 116. So, I should have died years ago. Stupid spy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, 36. My god. How is this guy? How is this streamer still alive? How are you still breathing? You disgust us. You make us want to puke. September 17th, huh? Better, I better uh, open up the old lemonade stand. Start saving up for a PC. Crack open the old lemonade stand. Mm. All right, to the apartments. There's old Gaz. Good time. We need 15 more of these punch cards for uh, me, lady. We got to do that, too. Uh, yeah, this is my job. It is indeed. It is indeed. But uh, moving to Australia has cost me about $15,000. So I don't really have so. much food right now. And, of course, our yeah, wedding was about $25,000. So. Yes, it's plenty big for me. I won't me have money Canada's. for a couple of years. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and moshi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. What up, Alien Hero? Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. She's so itty bitty. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about all these me. Things. I'll be fine. Okay, then. I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. <sighs> I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's the thing. It's like... It just adds up, man. It gets crazy expensive. Aww. Birdcage get? Driver 14FC, come in. Okay. I'm here. New job available. Okay, I'm ready. New job available. You already said that. Oh. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control, can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. 
I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Rania out. Is Mr. Control Canada okay? from Australia, huh? I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. Oh, for God's sakes. I, I, w I wish it would show me how much money I have, like, in... While I'm inside of my apartment, so I could tell. I bought this dress because I thought I'd be able to wear it. But, um... Apparently, I can't wear it. It's very exp It was a very expensive dress. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That is awesome. Nice. Hey, now we're now we're cooking. Now things are looking pretty good. We got the fridge here. Good, good, good. I don't want to spend too much money. I don't know if I'm gonna have to buy something later on. Alien Hero, yes. Your fiance's parents are giving you 19k. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. We got a couple of thousand from our parents. Simple, you know, which made which 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 definitely helped. I don't think Pashta. I don't think she's gonna be sleeping there because I know I don't sleep there. I think this game this game only takes place during it takes place during like one day. So, I don't think there's really any sleeping going on. Let's go get some items. Do I ever sleep? Um, I'm getting, I, I feel like I'm getting better at sleeping. I don't really, I don't really get very good sleep, that's for sure. Yabba 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 yabba. Let's go grab some items. I don't remember the last time that I I slept through the night without waking up like six, seven times. And I have this thing where um, it's really tough for me to go back to sleep once I wake up. So each time I wake up, it takes a while for me to go back to sleep. I'm sure a lot of people have that. Probably not the only one. Okay, we need to go on the outside here. Uh, yeah, like, not, like, w when I first moved to Australia, and, you know, because I, I was, a, I smoked quite a bit in Seattle, like, my whole life I've been a, quite a smoker. Uh, but come to Australia where it's illegal, um, it's not so bad now because I haven't smoked it, like, I don't really smoke at all anymore. I was having night terrors, dude. <laughs> I was having crippling night terrors. I, for one, I couldn't really sleep, but when I did fall asleep, I was having fucking night terrors, man. And that was that was uh, a little stressful. And apparently, that's like a uh, that's like a, um, a side effect from like stop when you stop smoking weed after smoking so much. Smoking weed is illegal in Australia, absolutely. They hate it. They fucking hate it here, dude. Patty Green? I have tried melatonin, yeah. I have. Mm, I still wake up quite often when I do take melatonin, and it makes me feel like a piece of garbage the next day. <laughs> It makes it feel like shit, and I know that it's not supposed to, but it does. Any kind of sleep aid, no matter how natural it is, it's always it's always done that to me. It's always made me feel like a piece of garbage like the next day. And also, melatonin can can make me have like uh, nightmares. 
disturbing nightmares. Let's go grab the rest of these items. I need punch cards, dude. We need we need to find all these like hidden punch cards. Are CBD products illegal there? Probably. I mean, this is... If you talk to the people that uh, that have lived here their whole life, like Sarah's, uh, Sarah's stepdad, like Gary, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a patriot. He loves this country. He's, great. he's lived here his whole life. The guy is in his 70s. Uh, and he loves this place, but he will, he's the first one to tell you that this is the land of laws. He doesn't do anything illegal. He's a he's he's a, he's a very old-fashioned kind of guy. Very old-fashioned dudes. But even even he admits that the laws are ridiculous here. <laughs> it is it is the it is the land of laws. <laughs> like nothing is allowed. And then you can also see that coming through in like the, the censorship as well. You know, like Australia being kind of you know they're 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 kind of known for their their censorship. And then also almost every single video game title being mature when it's like, you know, uh, E for everyone. <laughs> In other countries, it's mature here. Oh God, I'm not paying attention. I'm looking at the map. Which way is it? God damn this fucking rotating minimap. I hate rotating minimaps, dude. I hate them. I <laughs> saw Sonic the Slaughter Hog. <laughs> okay, I can't with the, the way that this minimap works, I can't I can't even tell where I'm going ever. Constantly have to check the map. Mini map is worthless. Yes, it's 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 everything. Is, but but I think they're I think they're just a little bit behind. I I think it might be because it's you know so secluded. It's on this side of the earth. It's on the it's at the bottom of the world. So everything is just a bit slower here. So equality, censorship laws, stuff like that. Um, the internet. Everything is about 10 years in the past. So it just takes a bit longer. It takes a bit longer to catch up. Yep, yeah, uh, Draco, that's the first thing I tried to fix. That is not an option in this. Trust me, that's the first thing I try to fix in games that have rotating mini maps. I turn that shit off. It is not an option. Actually, every toilet that I've ever seen, that I've seen in uh, Australia, I've never seen uh, a rot uh, like a like a rotating flush before. It just goes, <clears throat> it just like, it it shoots down and then it old faithfuls all over your nuts, all over your balls. So you don't want to you don't want a courtesy flush when you're when you're uh, when you're in Australia, because you'll just get you'll get doo doo waters shot all over your balls. It's not good. Like, oh, <laughs> I did. It was the, 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 I think was like one of the first times I was visiting Sarah and I, I, uh, courtesy flushed because you know, we weren't married by then. I didn't want her to know how much, how badly my poo poo stunk. So I gave it a courtesy flush and it made me, it made me scream. I, I let out a bit of a yelp. Give me that big, the big splash. I didn't want her. I didn't want her to know that my doo doo smelled like doo doo. Now she knows. Oh, she knows now. Oh man. 
She knows all too well. Oh, punch guard. Nice. 14 more of those puppies. I'm really digging this game. Just, just the vibe of this game. Just, just, just rolling around, enjoying the scenery. I love it. The sky is always wicked, too. It's like the apocalypse. It's like the coming of the four horsemen in the sky every day. I'm not exactly sure what all these books are for. We could, we can do, we could do a little bit of sell, uh, some selling too. We could sell some stuff. I think that's some plasteel. Here's, here's what I can offer today. The cybernetic arm is like the most expensive thing in the game, and I don't understand. I'm gonna buy a red boots and a purse. How's that? I don't know what it's for. Okay, plasteel, battery. I think there, I think we. A well-thumbed copy of some ancient paperback. It's it's a topless man on the on the cover. Weird. I'm, I, I'm I'm torn between selling things. I'm torn selling things because uh, on a lot of these. These electronics. It says maybe I can sell this to a vendor, but you use these electronics to repair things too sometimes. So you don't really want to be selling everything like right away. I'm gonna wear these. Weird. Wow. Okay. So the purse, the dress, you can't even wear those. Thanks. It's weird. I look forward to seeing you again. I can wear those. I'm wearing those boots though. You kind of, yeah. You you kind of are a bit of a taxi driver too. Like there's a lot. There's quite a few missions where you just have to like take somebody somewhere. Yeah, there's there, and I'm actually I'm actually getting a bit braver. I'm actually getting a bit braver when it comes to spiders. I would I it's when I when I first started visiting Sarah years ago here, I it would it would scare the shit out of me when I saw a big spider like run across the run across the ground in front of me or or in the house. Now it really doesn't phase me, as long as it's not like touching me. Sarah's got some some horror stories of of like hand size. Uh, huntsman spiders crawling across their friend's face while they're sleeping. That's not, that's, that can't happen to me. Then you can never go to sleep ever again. It's done. Sleeping is over for you now. Sleeping is over for you now, dude. Like a face hugger, yeah. We'll never ever sleep again. Those things are big. They're they're like they're they're so big. They're like heavy. They're heavy. <laughs> you know. And when you when you when you when you kill a spider here, I try I try to catch and release. I do I do a lot of catching and releasing spiders. But if you kill a spider here, they it turns into a corpse. It doesn't just like it vaporize into into powder like spiders are supposed to do. When you smash a spider, it's supposed to just vaporize or just leave like a like a little smirch, like a little charcoal smirch. Here they turn into like a corpse, and you have to have like a you have to have like a proper burial for it. You gotta like dig a hole in your backyard. You gotta get a shoebox. <laughs> you gotta call corpse removal. It's like it's, it's like a dead bird. <laughs> Wear a motorcycle helmet. So yeah. <laughs> or like the the blue tongue, yeah, the blue tongue lizards came into the room. That spooked me, dudes. It did spook me. I just was I just wasn't prepared. I was not prepared to to see that. I had to do a, I had to do like a triple take because I didn't believe what I was seeing. That there was a monster in my room. <laughs> <laughs> that monsters were real. It's like, what the hell? <clears throat> Let's talk to Molly. Saw one huntsman over here in Florida, and it still haunts me to this day. The huntsmen are everywhere here. Are you counseling? Um, no, sorry. Please do not be shy. 
We talked about this in the chat room. We yeah, the, the, the blue tongue lizard is about from from uh, on Kelson for you. From tip I to tail, me. it's like probably I'm like not Kelson. that My name big. Is oh, like I see. That fat. I'm sorry too. Damn it! I cannot take any more of these time wasters. I hate to be made to wait. It must have been an old lizard because it was it was big. At least your clothes are kind of waterproof. They're made of latex. Yes. And I suppose <laughs> God's gonna take the scene. There's like a chalk outline of like a you spider all curled up. You're soaked. I'm a delivery driver, so I'm mostly in my. Well, that lizard was kind of scary yes, because when I was trying to shoot out of the house, it was hissing at me. I'm had like a deciding. had like a man's you? voice. It is honest work. I make people happy. Are you a sex worker? Yes, a dominatrix. My mother said one day I would find something I was good at. This is it. Okay. You have something else to say? Spit it out then. I have nothing. Yeah, Blasi, do I don't. I don't want to. That's I not good. You're curious. Does it feel bad hurting people, even if they want it? No, not at all. I am helping them. You really believe that? Mm -hmm. I know it. They thank me with words and with huge handfuls, handfuls of, of money. semen, money. Has money. it ever gone wrong with a client? No. Seriously, you've never hurt someone more than they wanted? It's all done with augments now. If I crack a whip, it's just for show. Ropes and chains are ornamentals. The augments bind them, hold them down, cause them pain. That way, no one is ever hurt worse than they want to be. I guess that's better. It is. Well, Molly, I hope you get another client soon and get out of the rain. I shall. Business is good. Run along and get yourself dried off. We all wear a uniform to work, whether we think we do or not. No need for it to be waterlogged. Yeah, quick question. You ever tied up a guy's balls so tight it looked like a giant walnut? What was that like? Is that cool? Is that neat? That sounds cool. <laughs> it's gonna burst! Wee 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 wee! Okay, we're gonna be, we're gonna be we're we're swooping around we're swooping around and grabbing all these items, man. As as silly it may as it may seem, this is like one of my it's like one of my favorite parts of this game right here. Is is, is oh shit? Do we walk all the way around the other side? Okay. I like uh, I like getting I like getting all these little items, all these little loots. We have a severed human hand that we need to find somebody. Also, walking around like this actually opens up a uh, um, side quest too. Because you'll find people that you normally wouldn't find unless you were kind of just walking the strip. <laughs> the old double testicular walnut. <laughs> the walnut knot, yeah. <laughs> That's the third knot they teach you uh, in, in the Boy Scouts. And then then you get fired for teaching the kids that. And you get put on a list. I was a Boy Scout for one day. I, uh... I never, I never thought... Of, of like joining the Boy Scouts and then I had some friends that were like Boy Scouts when I was really young you know what I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try I went for one day I went to like the, the scout leaders like garage and they were like whittling things out of like sticks I bounced out of there pretty quick <laughs> so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go play Nintendo I'm gonna go ahead and play Nintendo instead um I'm not sure if choices matter um there's quite a few choices that you need to make. I'm not sure how. I mean, I guess I'd have to play it again to really, to really know. I'm loving this game. It's been, it's been so much fun. 
it's been a nice little uh, little break from from all the intense games that we play here on the stream. But you still get the patch. I kind of want to do like go camping and like do like survival camping and stuff. That's like that's what I that's what I kind of saw the Boy Scouts as. I didn't really see it as like going to some like random guy's garage and like cutting up sticks. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I think there's a lot of like door-to-door -door, uh, gift wrap selling as well. I don't know. That's a future-proof career right there, yeah. The best stick whittlers went on to work for NASA. Or gas stations. I can't remember which one it is. Punch card me, baby. Ow! Broken augments! Okay. I'm pretty sure those are those are probably just... A lot of this stuff is just to sell. Camping in Australia? Yeah. yeah I, I, def I definitely want to do some camping here. I don't think I could convince uh, Sarah to go camping with me, though. I think she would she would probably need some kind of room service if we were to go camping. She's 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 too much like her mom. <laughs> her mom her mom is uh her mom's a bit of a princess. She's a bit of a princess. You from the east, lady? You're good, but no corpse sec. Got it? Okay, calm down. Chemical substance triggering a social response in your favor, stimulating brain and muscle tissue to give you that extra boost. I'm gonna buy a couple of these Thanks. and just maybe we'll use them at some points. You folks from the east are good with me. They gotta be for something. Because those dealers are everywhere. Yeah, black killer. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really have a choice growing up. Like that's, I loved, I loved my childhood. That, that's, that's what we did. Whenever my dad wasn't working, when he wasn't out of town working, never months at a time. Summertime came around, we were out camping, dude. We also camped in the winter as well. Some memorable camps, very cold. Hunting, going out camping while you're hunting. That was just our life. That was our lifestyle. Anthony! Party face, party face, party face. Classic, man. It's pretty cool, man. It is pretty cool. Thank you, Anthony. Thanks for coming on back, man. Thanks for hitting the button. It's good to see you, brother. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let's go down south. We're kind of just collecting now. We're collecting all the items in, the, in each area that we go to. We want to collect all these items. Zoo, 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 zoo. I choice you. I choice you. <laughs> Classic man, thank you very much, man. Welcome on back, dude. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime. Thanks for coming on back. It means a lot to me, my friends. <laughs> Wife always wants to go camping. That's fair. She'll never do it again. Yeah, to a lot of people. See, it sounds it sounds good on paper. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so we need to find... I think if we go through there, we end up there. Okay. The drinks are... <laughs> I choice you is, is great. <laughs> the drinks are flowing. I might I might get myself a, get myself a beer here pretty soon too. Maybe. Your face looks familiar. Do you need some stems? Oh, I don't actually, but thank you. Thanks. Appreciate that. See you again. I do appreciate that. I like where your head's at. Got to get the beer before the ghost finishes off. <laughs> Polishes off all my beers. Just going up to the rooftop here. And then there is the... Okay, I think we could probably get all the way across that way. Hopefully. It's kind of, some of these, are, it's kind of tough to figure out. How to get to the places that you're you're going for? Uh, there's some really great Australian beer. Yeah, uh, Cooper's is Cooper's is a big is a big brand around here. It's pretty good Australian made stuff. Louie, thanks for the host. There's a lot of good uh, Australian beer. Have you found your little white snapper? The mouse? Oh, I, I haven't seen Foster's uh, in it. the stores here before. I'm sure you can find it. You can find most most beer. It depends on, you know, like if you... Maybe specialty stores might have Foster's or something. I don't know. I don't really see it, though, anywhere. Uh, I don't, I personally, I don't like, I, I'm not a big Foster's fan. I don't think it's super, super great. I think Foster's is pretty popular in the UK. If I'm, if, if I'm, uh, correct. Yeah, this whole, and, and, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty popular in the UK. <laughs> Foster's or VV. You know what? I've actually, I actually have not tried uh, Victoria Bitters. I've, I've never tried VV, but I, I, I hear that that's that's like their, uh, that's like their, you know, uh, Miller Light. It's like their cold filtered Coors Light. Zzzt. We had a family friend that that's pretty much all she drank. It was like Foster's. She was all about it. Damn it, I missed my ride. Let's talk to Joe Ham really quick. Hey, Urania. Want something? I don't want 888. Thanks, Joe. Come by next week for some fresh dumplings. I'm trying to think like other Australian. Uh, Brands beer. There's some good ones out there. Ugh. A lot of people brew a lot. There's a lot of like home brewers here. A lot of people brew their own beer because beer is so expensive. It's just too damn expensive. Gotta brew their own. It's not a bad idea. Sale of home brews legal. I'm not sure about home brews, but I know that uh, selling your own spirits is illegal. A lot of people make their own spirits as well because spirits are 
very, very expensive here as well. Two or three times the price for a bottle of, 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 of spirits than it would be like in the US. Jack, like, like a bottle of Jack Daniels is like 60 bucks, 65 bucks. The only, the, pretty much the only alcohol that's not super expensive here is, is wine. It's wine, dude. Wine is, is, is dirt cheap. That's why Sarah and I drink, uh, we pretty much exclusively drink wine. Sweet berry, that's sweet berry wine. They're all yellow. <laughs> yeah, but that's spatula. Uh, if you, if you, okay, if you sell, uh, home brews, you gotta, okay, yeah. We gotta pay tax on it. So it's, it's legal with home brews, but with, with spirits, illegal. Now that's like 60, 65 bucks Australian. So about, it's, so it's still about 50 bucks US. Krabby's ginger beer? I don't think I have. I've had ginger beer before, but not, maybe not Krabby's. There's a whole crab in every can. So many of these flyers. Hopefully we come into into the uh, run into more of these corpse sex uh, barriers. Shields. <laughs> Crabby lady. <laughs> Fermented crab wine. Mm. It's 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 double filtered. Not not through charcoal, but um, through 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 a dumpster. They double filter it through a Long John Silver's dumpster for that <laughs> that pristine taste, that pure crabby flavor. We've almost cleared out this whole area of items. Nice, dude. Nice. We need 13 more of those punch cards. And then we good, dog. <laughs> Crab one. Gross. Good ribs. Alright, west. West. The Red Lobster, <laughs> yeah. Getting notes of cheesy biscuits in there as well. Ooh, lucky. Must have hit a must have hit a half-eaten basket of cheese biscuits on the way down. The other sides, okay. Beep, 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 beep. So we're looking for these little things called punch cards. We're trying to restore the memory of this android that lives next door to us uh, at our apartment. Some like super weird android that speaks in riddles. We need 13 more. We've already given her 40 of them. We're collecting we're like collecting subway subway punch cards. <clears throat> Do I get creeped out by dolls? No. No. You don't. I think I think I think things that like that creep me out. They've they've gotta be like alive. It's it mostly has to do with like insects. Sarah and I were watching uh, a 
wildlife, uh, David Attenborough wildlife documentary about Tasmania last night. And apparently one of the most dangerous creatures in Australia lives in Tasmania, and it's, uh, it's an ant that jumps. It's like a jumping ant. Those things are brutal. They're like giant ants that jump. They're, uh, they're, they're like anthills are fucking massive. And when it gets too hot out, they replace all the rocks that they cover. They cover, they cover the top of their, their anthill with rocks. And when it gets too hot out, they replace the darker colored rocks with white rocks. That's too smart for an ant. That's dangerous. Can't have ants that are that smart. They must be destroyed. It's not a bullet ant, no. But those are those are uh, those are pretty nasty too. <laughs> not jump scares, yeah. Don't like things that scare and hide. Also, I don't like I don't like the you know creatures that you just you just can't tell what's going on, like in their in their head. Like what are they thinking about? Like a giant spider, or just like just staring at you from across the room, not moving at all. What? What's he doing? <laughs> What's, he's cooking something up. He's scheming. He's scheming on something. Here's something, here's something new. Whoa. Oh, there it is, nice. Punch card. All right, I think that's, I think that's, oh, we have one more thing over at Cambria Heights. Nice. There's something called murder hornets. It's fucking metal, dude. <clears throat> Not killer bees, yeah. We need we need a we need something more metal. We need a more metal name. Killer bees just isn't isn't striking fear in people anymore. They're a joke. Um, 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 destroyer of worlds, uh, flyers. No, no, that that doesn't really roll off the tongue. Mur, murder, murder, murder. Yeah, murder. <laughs> Plague bees. <laughs> I like destroy. I like destroyer of world flyers. <laughs> great band, great drummer. <laughs> oh, man. People just aren't scared enough of killer bees anymore. <laughs> That's the problem. Alright, I think we can get all the way. I think, I think the, uh... The movie My Girl was the first time, and when I was a kid, the movie My Girl was the first time that I, I realized that bees can kill somebody. <laughs> I was like, they can do that? Oh my god. As if, as if like, 11 year old Savage needed to be more scared of bees. He is now. <laughs> Damn it! Oh god, am I going the wrong way? <clears throat> Wait, am I rotating? Is it rotating? It is the wrong way. I think, I hopefully we can get across that way. Spamfish, yeah. Yeah, dude, my girl. Kevin McAllister. <laughs> Buzz's girlfriend, woof. What the heck? 
can we stop rotating around? What's going on? Why is it why is it rotating and kicking me backwards? Can't tell which way I'm going. This stupid minimap. South. Go over this way. Don't rotate me, bro. Oh god. There we go. We got a, we got a NPC up here. An Amazonian ant movie that made them seem like an unstoppable force. Bugs are scary, man. Bullet ants, yeah. I went I went um, zip lining in Central America. I was zip lining. <laughs> it's, it sounds it sounds lamer now that I say it out loud, but I was doing the zip. I was it was like one of the biggest zip line courses in, in the world, and there were some parts of the course that were you're you're like strapped on. You, you've got your your carabiner like attached to these ropes that are tied around the trees. These massive fucking trees, and you're up like in like a hundred meters or something. And I mean, like you're really—it's—it's—it's it's, it's like the tallest in the world, the highest up. And uh, you have like a like one wooden plank. And you have to like hug the tree. And there are bullet ants crawling all over these trees. And before you even start the 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 tour, they tell you like you know if you see a bullet ant, you know just don't like. I don't know, call it names or something. Don't antagonize it. Don't don't yell at it. Just like. Move on with your day. <laughs> like, what do you? What, how do you prevent? Um, play dead. Just yeah. If you see a bullet ant, just unhook your unhook <laughs> unhook unhook your safety harness, and and sleep the eternal sleep. Wow, we've pretty much got everything here, too. Let's go to Avalon Heights. Let's go to Mickey Avalon Heights down there. My dick. Don't antagonize it. I do I do have some beers in the fridge. Might, we might get some beers going here. A little bit. Don't make eye contact with its tiny little eyes. <laughs> I don't know where its eyes are. <laughs> we uh, he tipped his hat like this. Avalon Heights down this way. He just gave me a nod. It's okay. That bullet ant just nodded my way. We're cool. I think we're cool now. I, co I I offered to co-sign for a home for for a for a, a home loan for him at the bank. So we're good. We have an understanding. Dear God, that is quite that is quite the the trip over. How do I even make it over there, dude? Uh, oh, there's there's a different parking space. Got it. Now nah, I got you. <clears throat> Bobby Briggs, button it. <clears throat> Dude, Fire Walk with me was on uh, was on TV uh, the other day. <laughs> the prequel to Twin Peaks. I tried, I tried, I tried leaving that. I tried leaving it on the channel so we could watch it, but uh, I don't think Sarah Sarah was having uh, any of it. She wasn't having none of it. It's a good movie. You've never seen Twin Peaks. I think you'd really enjoy it, Grim. You're a, you're a, you're a man of culture. You're a man of culture. It's good. It's very very good. 
It made TV Guide's best 100 shows of, of all time. You know? TV Guide is... was a thing for a while. Uh, yeah, as a show first, I think it started. I think it started in uh, 1991. There it is. All right, it's the last little bit. So we've got we've got most of the items here too. So we good, dog. We good. I think this is the last one. Batteries. Battery. <laughs> they, they see ants, they, then they jump, then more screaming. I was proud. My mom was with me. I, that's when I took my mom on a cruise. Uh, and she uh, she did really well on that course, on that zipline course. She's, she's got a pretty... She's pretty scared of heights. <clears throat> Battery. Okay, I think that's every item here. Let's scoot on over to this mission. Bullet ant gloves? Oh my god. Why? Why? When I was a kid, and uh, my family was taking a trip to the States, and we were uh, we were in Phoenix, and I put my shoes on. They were, I left my shoes like outside, put my shoes we, on, and it was full of fire ants. <laughs> yes, there's nothing else here. It's not good. We are getting a message from Control again. Text only. It says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon. All right, let's go. What? Mm -hmm. Fly close to the transmitter beacon, okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> Dude, wasps are super spooky. They're very scary. There it is. There's the beacon. There's the Mavis beacon. Teach me typing. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. You again. Did you pretend to be control? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. And yet, you can't just answer my question. I took on the guise of another to bring you here. You stole his voice. He has no voice. He is a shell. Don't say that about him. Hey. Deep down, you know how empty he is. I felt the pain of your android passing. We were just talking he about that. Lost. murder, murder wasps. Then he yeah. found me. You're mad. Because I people no just weren't scared enough Oxley of killer bees anymore. Well. Screw you. They're not, they're not scared leaving. enough. Stop calling on me. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What answer? I am like, bifurcated dude, light. Killer bees don't even face me anymore. Yeah, well, have you heard about? I must know what the future holds for this place. Murder wasps. And for those who follow me. What? You're a mad those are old a AI with no purpose. Yeah. This may be true. See? Pretty I still scary. must know. You came to this city from outside. You understand here and also there. You know the city and the not city. If you say so. So answer my question, and think carefully on your answer, as it will have repercussions. Is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? What? Kind of. I repeat, they sell vegan ramen Navalis at like every every shop. By monsters? Overcome with Basically monsters? the same thing. No, Cora. Navalis is the monster. I can't detect a signal anymore. Good. Monsters. We're done with crazy people. Cora said... Did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. Let's get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> Pr 
premeditated. Let's go over to this shop really quick and see if there's anything we can buy. Might have unlocked some stuff. Hey, kid, you there? Are you the real control or the annoying fake one? What do you mean? What the? Nothing. What you got for me? I need to ask you to take a passenger again. So, you're the annoying real control. You know, we're not a taxi service, right? I, I know, I know. But this one will be worth it. Very rich client. Needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff. Paparazzo. Someone famous? I think so. But even I don't know who it is. Sending an aft point. Oh boy. Uh, one more thing, Rania. Mm. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, get me an autograph. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Weird. Weird guy. <clears throat> get me some of her hair. Or you're fired. Alright. Huntsman's. <laughs> oh, my packages are here. Wait, this isn't my package. It's murder wasps. <laughs> Who would do this to me? I'm being murdered. <laughs> See the the, the the what makes murder wasps different than different to any other wasps is that they have, they carry they carry a kitchen knife, a six inch kitchen knife. Like a pretty high quality one too. Like the as seen on TV ones that can hit that can that can cut through a hammer. <laughs> Jesus. Um, hi. I do have a hammer Rania. that I need to cut. I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. What's up, Auto Fire? Good to see you. Taxi. I can't He's got a gun! Real Can I ask you a question? <laughs> you may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my Dream Bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. It's future Bowie. I'm sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. <sighs> wow, dude. There is more to life than material success. Jealous? Says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Give me can some money. Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang, Metal skin, scales or rubber, I'm your dream girl, bubblegum lover. Does the second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. Okay. This makes me happy. <laughs> Dolly's new album, Dolly and the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Oh, pre-order bonus. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. Give me the goddamn nav cord. No shit, Camus. You remember who we just, just give me the lost? goddamn number! I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes. Or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love... Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly. The first. Okay. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. I forgot to say, please just drive to the west for now. Oh, thank God. You act like an automata, right? There like we go. That's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman? I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. 
I like they this They copied chip. you. Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Nivalis. I was replaced. I was Dali before Dali was taken by the audience. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words. I <laughs> She's your private dancer. Dancer for money. Do what you want me to do. My key card did not work. <laughs> I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. I called on my that mother Tina Turner song is a banger. was blocked. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone <laughs> I was the off. real Dolly. Who is the new Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They'd been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. Mm -hmm. That's so awful. They lied. They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No, they don't notice. They've been using her likeness for a year now. So what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. I was going to face them, gate crash the live interview which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Move on. It'll be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. Okay. <clears throat> Take her to the train station. I am forbidden to work, to have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Navalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. 10-4. Copy that. Whoa! There's a wow. Okay, there's a lot of items to get here. We gotta get all these items, dudes. Dance for money. <laughs> well, you know the TV station is right here, so you know I got a job to do here. It's not really my place. <laughs> I was paid to do a job, so you know, good luck. See you later. So you're really going in? I have to. I could turn around. We could still take you to the vents. No. Running away was never a real option. You did the right thing bringing me here. I have to face him. Just do my job. Dynamite Simpson? What will you say to him? I doubt I'll get a chance to say anything. I just want him to see me and her at the same time. I'd like to see that to too. To confront what he did to me. I need to show him that I can be killed, but never erased. My existence is mine. Are you mad at her too? The replacement? No, not at all. Two chicks. She is just doing what she needs to do to survive. I hope he feels guilty when he sees you. I hope he has regret. I have none. Do you want me to come in with you? Maybe we can try to sneak past reception. I could say I had a delivery. Try to bluff my way past the guards. No, Wait. I have to do this alone. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe they will take you back. Maybe you will release the fifth album. No, Maybe. Camus. That music isn't no. me anymore. It was never really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. This won't stop me singing. He's a dog. Whether it's for one person or for one billion, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Deep down, was a weird brag. Lania knows that too. They can take almost everything away from you, but if you don't surrender it to them, they can't take away your music. Or like even a billion people because, I mean, I do that all the time, so. All right, see you later, idiot. 400 doll hairs. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, kid, 
You still surviving out there? Just yeah. about, Control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with Automata? Not for a second. Or worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. Two more Hava crashes in the last hour, and they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. Ooh. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? The crab you doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. She does uh, not like to talk right. about flutes. Uh, I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? Yeah. Oh, Gil? You know, at the time, I thought that Including was the Keith worst Richards. job I'd yeah. ever do. He's a fan, and Nothing he's still like alive. He just looks like a boneless a amoeba. Be, right? He's just a puddle well, that slides a around your, like, ventilation systems. They <laughs> even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, well, you gotta go. Ah, <sighs> remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Hey, you're all right. Look, you okay. Don't have to say anything you're fired. Special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, and then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. I'm not on my way, by the way. I'm, I'm actually getting items. I'm collecting items right now, so. Dance off all man. I've had I've had private dancer in my head for like two days. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Do what you want me to do. <laughs> Tina Turner, man, what a legend. What a legend, man. Colin, yes. Me too, man, me too. Pleasure to have you here, as always. This has been a very, very chill game to play. I love playing these kind of games on stream. Sometimes I just need to play a game that has no risk involved. Get Thunderdome stuck in your head. What I could Here's what I can offer you. N Magazine. And these guys sell flyers as well. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so... This guy actually buys the dress for uh, a lot more. So I think I bought it for like 900 So maybe these are items that you can buy and just sell in different areas. That's really... That's a really huge chunk of profit there. Big ol' hunk of chunka. The hunk of chunka, the wild mambo. Nice. Ever played Shadowrun? I have not Thanks. played Shadowrun. Oops. I look forward to seeing you again. Okay. Oh nice. Ten more. Ten more than papas. What's up with this? Faster, smarter, stronger. Find your real you. Corwin Bionics. It is a elevator. It's gotta be really hard to get every NPC like talk to every NPC that has that has like a, a mission that, that's that's available. It's hard to figure out where everybody is. You kinda just run into them randomly. I feel like we haven't really spent a lot of time in this area in this zone. Because we just haven't gotten any of these items. Maybe we'll come across a mission that's going to take us here. <laughs> Any old song will do, that's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
it's 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 a uh, it's a really it's a really weird um, music video too. It's like kind of sad. It's a little bit sad. Any old music will do. <laughs> yes. Really, really great, though. Tina Turner. Legends. Absolute legend. We, I have played the first two Fallouts. We did. We did Fallout 2 on stream. It was. Uh, it became my. It became my favorite Fallout. Really good stuff. Broken augments. Against dudes, uh, I just I just recently uh, rewatched the the old um, Blade Runner. What what a flick! What an incredible piece of cinema. That scene where Rudger Howard's like digging his digging his thumbs into the into the uh, his creator's eyes. We did we did play Blade Runner, yeah. The like the like the point and click kind of adventure, we did. Oh, that's up there. Okay, it's up. It's up yonder. It's up yonder. Love that scene. Really good. Daryl Hannah with the. The blue paint. Very good look for her. Very good. Very robot-y. Very, very replicant-y. I think I, wa I, think I wanted to watch it because I, I re-watched the new Blade Runner. Because I hadn't seen it since I saw it in, uh, in theater. And though it was a really good movie, I did, I, I think I had like a really long day that day, and uh, Sarah and I both fell asleep in the theater. Like a couple of old pieces of shit. <laughs> During uh, the new Blade Runner. I fell asleep towards the end. And then the credits, when the credits roll in the new Blade Runner, it is so jarring. It's like the loudest, like makes a super, super loud sound, and it woke us up. Die! Popcorn! There's just so many. There's just so many. Cool, it's like a lullaby. Some of the scenes in the new Blade Runner is like a lullaby almost. They're so quiet. And there's like, you know, some scenes where where Ryan Gosling like stares for like eleven minutes, like. What's going on? God bless him, though. <laughs> God bless him. He'd be if 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 that whole acting career didn't work out for him, he could he could have been a street performer. He could have been a, a human statue, like a a, cr a crusty juggler. He would have made a fortune. <clears throat> It was a really good movie, yeah. I'm glad I watched it a second time because I, I, I don't think I really absorbed it too much the first time. I was just I was just not in a good place in my mind. I was so tired. I was in a sleepy a sleepy state. Ah oh, yes, the new Dune. That'd be good.
<laughs> oh, it's a busted elevator. Okay, we can fix this elevator up too. Nice. Let's fix this puppy up. It's gonna take electronics or the juice. It's gonna take the juice. Oh uh, my goodness, we need so we probably shouldn't have been selling all those batteries. Gosh darn dang darn it. So maybe we shouldn't be selling anything. The batteries are something that we need as well. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Poops. Well, there might be a merchant that's going to be able to sell us some batteries. Maybe just the, maybe just like the old books, the old ruined books, the magazines. Keep the flyers. Those are good to, for selling. Uh, maybe I'll just keep every item right now. I'll keep all the items because I don't really need need to sell things right now. Just in case. Nice. Eight more. Nice. We got an NPC here. You sell instruments? I sell everything. Sheet music, drumsticks, reeds, strings, performance enhancing stims. Drumsticks as in chicken. Not You've the, seen not one the of instrument. these before? That's an ocarina right there. Dirty, but not in bad condition. Where did you find it? On the floor. Does it matter? I'd like to sell it. Sure. I could take this off your hands. You knew what it was already, didn't you? Yeah. You're from the East, right? You folks play some pretty intricate folk music with all the crazy time signatures. I don't anymore. How tall That's am I? Shame. I'm 5'11". I'd love to hear some of that mountain I'm just a, music. I'm just a little guy. You don't get much of that here in Navalis. I didn't think anyone in the city would be interested in that. Well, it's not mainstream, sure, but there's a lot of people looking for something different. The Nets don't support music except for what the cops approve. So we don't How bald am I? Very bald. So why don't you play anymore? I like, don't I don't even have any hair on the, on the sides of my head. But if you ever get back to Look playing that. again, you know where to come. Just not there anymore. Music stand. Tell a friend about old Sabra's music ephemera. And if you find anything else like this, bring it here for a good price. Ah. Hey, you wanted to hear more music from the East? I found this. Hmm, not exactly authentic. This is from the big CD revival fed that kicked off about 200 years ago. Wow, this guy's taking There's everything. no original CDs left now. But the music <laughs> is what you were looking for, <laughs> Thank right? You. Yeah, this is a good find. So, you like this job? Selling junk? <laughs> no, but on good days, I get to talk to some pretty interesting people about music. And don't get me wrong, it's not all junk. This CD, for example, is a real find, and I have good reeds if you need one. Reeds. Flutes don't need reeds. A flautist? <laughs> I should have guessed. You got to play for me sometime. I don't There's want to. There's a jazz club. Not exactly your style, I usually no, go bald but... the other way around. That's right. No, no thanks. All right, I get it. Maybe when you're ready. Anyway, let me give you a good price for this CD. I'm closing the stall early tonight. Thanks, buddy. Gonna grab a coffee from that expensive place downtown and listen to this CD. All right, I don't need to know your that plans. That is, if I can find something that will play the damn thing. I don't need to know all your plans, sir. Well, that was kind of a stroke of luck that we found that guy, I guess, huh? All right, so we need to we need to fix that elevator once we get another battery, two batteries. You made quite a bit of gold. I've got the best prices in all of Tamriel. Uh, are you talking about Dream Theater? Yeah, that would be cool. Ugh. What a what a what a what a trek! We're gonna have to come back here anyway with those batteries. We'll just make we'll just make one big one big loop. <laughs> I 
IMDb list. They're getting out of hand. I didn't even know there was a thousand directors. Who is making a list of 1,000 of anything, dude? Jesus. How could you possibly rate things like that? That seems impossible. <laughs> Rush would be super cool, man. Yeah. That would be really, really cool. Really be sure. They have hooves instead of feet. Because they lactose? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> because they lactose. Oh my god, I get it! Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. I was reading it lactose <laughs> instead of lactose. I guess, I, I guess it'd probably be a lot easier to tell that joke, like with words, you know, instead of text, I guess. It's pretty good. May the fourth be with everybody. You know, remember, remember that? Maybe we should keep those plasteel parts now, too. I'm just gonna keep all these items, just in case. Just in case we need to do a thing. Hey, girls, girls, girls. Red lips, fingertips. Red lips, finger down. All right, we probably should go this way first. So we're not doing a bunch of running around. Do I play an instrument? Um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I feel like I, 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 I like to think of myself as um, pretty mu musical. Uh, but I, in school, my parents wanted me to play an instrument, so yeah, I, pl I played, I played trumpet. I played trumpet, man. For uh, for like six years, farts don't count. Farts. <laughs> Impersonate Claudio, yeah. I can only do it for like a couple of minutes, and then and then the voice is toast Aronis. There's a there's an NPC over there too. Oh my dear God! Talk to this lady. <laughs> Retro is a tuba kid. Mala. Hi there. Are you alone? Mom lets me hang out here. I like to watch the traffic go by. I'm Mala. She lets you out here by yourself? Yeah. I like to see the different hovas. And Mom says the air is nice and clean by the I know, roads because the vapor from the engines helps. Back home, it's smelly because of the factories. You live near the factories? I guess this is the best place for you to play then. Mom says it's safe as long as I don't talk to the police people. But strangers are okay. I guess that makes sense. So you like the Havas? Yeah, I want to race one day. The desert races in the wastelands? No, I like the street races. I've met a racer tonight. Really? Who was it? Playing the Can trumpet gets you. It, it, never slow Joe. It gets you the girls. Wow! Never slow. Joe. Yeah, it was really popular he with girls in school. Good. I have something for you then. You want this card? Oh, cool! I didn't have this one yet. Thanks. 
He is not like the best, but pretty good. Who's the best then? Scuttle Runner, maybe the Bandit Queen. Oh, I know, Jane Turbine. Are those their real names? No, silly. You need a special name when you become a racer. Mm. Well, it was nice like to never meet slow you. Joe. I've got to run. See you, Mala. Remember? Remember Never Slow Joe? I guess that would make me the master of unlocking, right, Jill? Remember? Look at that thing up in the middle there. That's pretty bad at the bone. I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Remember the junkyard, Jill? Remember that? Remember hanging out in the junkyard with old Barry? Barry. Little bleep. All right, so down there, down, hit that one, hit that one down there, cut up and around, and then back to the car. Yipers. Ooh, you know what? This guy might have something. Here's what I can offer. I'm gonna offer this for you today. Oh, Jesus. Maybe a new jacket. Street-style jacket? Yeah. Nice. Thanks. I can't even, I can't even tell if I have it on. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. It doesn't look like I have a jacket on. Revelation stew for just the, the for the Barry lines. God, what a knucklehead! Barry, you knucklehead! Oh, scamp! Okay. We need we need six more punch cards to give to Evelyn. If she wants 20 more, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna lose my shit on Evelyn. Nah, she's cool, she's cool. Need that right we do. I was actually first chair trumpet. I was first chair trumpet for years. Out of, uh, out of nine trumpets. And uh, the guy that was in uh, the guy that was in second chair, who was always challenging me, you know the challenging. Oh shit! You missed this one over here. Where they they challenge you like during during uh, lunch to like take your chair. Uh, he was he was he was second he was second chair, <clears throat> and then I remember his name is his name is uh, T J Nalisnik. And then he went on to become uh, a professional, professional trumpeter. He 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 works he works for the the, the well at least years ago he worked for the Anchorage Symphony. He's like in the symphony. It's pretty crazy. Clearly, he was much better at trumpet than I was. <laughs> The only reason that uh, I was I was pretty much first chair is because the, the 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 challenges they made you do like the scales. They would start with like an easier scale, and then they go like to the the more like expert scales at that level. And I was the only one in the section that could play like the highest notes and the longest. I could play the longest as well. My lung capacity, probably because I smoked so much weed in high school. I, I, I expanded those lungs with them bong hits, I guess. It challenges me my sleep. Oh, baby! It would work the opposite way, Money Mike. That's that's why it's it's like a, it's like a joke, <laughs> I guess. It's not a very funny one. You would think it would, but who knows? I 
All right. This is a different. What you look? I, candy bar. Oh my god. A f a Fuse Pro jacket. Oh boy. I want that jacket too. And some neon glasses as well. I'm buying all the things now. Hopefully that'll change my look now. Thanks. I don't think it does. Hey, come back any I don't see any change in the jacket. I guess I'm wearing I guess I'm wearing multiple jackets now. Is that how it works? Alright, we got all the things here. Okay, Central Milo District and the Sprawl. Get some items down there. Ow! Ow. Southeast. What a cool name, though. TJ Nalisnik. You can't take that shirt off. You can't, you, they don't, they don't let you bring bees in here. Mm. Oh, this place looks like it might have some, uh, some NPCs here, maybe. Mm. Not the bees, how to get burned, how to get burned! It's almost time for a beer. Class deal, very good. You're cracking open a cold one right now, good. Very good. Ooh. An encrypted key card? What the uh, who? What the heck? A key card belonging to a Mr. Spacula. It's expensive and shiny. Hey, Camus, I found this encrypted key card. Do you think we could read it? I am not really a decryption automata. I am more of a running in a park automata. <laughs> so there's no way? Scanning. There are markings on the key card. One, seven, nine, eight, five. You're right. Whoever owned this actually wrote their PIN number on here. Oh, shit. We should hand it back. Mr. Spacula, CEO of Spacula Enterprises. He must have lost his holocash card. CEO? We could just go... So we will hand it back? I have a nav point for the Spacula <laughs> HQ. I would like to take a look at this account first. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to... I'm still deciding. Yeah. Easy money. Look at that. <laughs> Easy money, easy money. She's not my mom, Todd. Po, 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 po. Something, something complete. Cool, man. Oh, you know what? I think we also have another hollow cache. Uh, we'll, we'll head over to the ATM in a second. I think we actually have another one too. Just take a tiny, just like a little nibble. Take a bit, of, like a teeny tiny little nibble of cash. I'd like to see how much he has in there. You see those warriors from Hammerfell? Got curved sword. Maverick. Curved sword. Maverick, welcome aboard, my friends. Thank you very much for. Hitting that Twitch Prime it means a lot to me, my dudes. Enjoy the emotes and, of course, the commercial free viewing. Very important. No more Taco Bell ads for you, mister. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you looking for? Hi. Thanks. No. Hey, come back anytime. Thank you very much, my dude. Oh, we got another battery. We got the battery for the thing. Good, good, good. Life Corp. Become your new perfect. Hollow cash. Here we go. Seventeen nine eight five. Uh, 
Let's got seven. He's got seven hundred twenty-five bucks in there. Let's go see what he says when we return it. Uh. I do have something else in here. What was it, like a little piece of paper? 1C652. I don't even know whose money this is. We don't have a mission for it, so I'm taking it, dude. Money! Nice. 725 is not a lot, yeah. It's, it doesn't seem like it's super... I don't really, like, need need money uh, right now. I think we're probably going to have quite a bit once we get... Try to get most of the items in the game, and then we get to the point where it's like, obviously, we don't need to keep all these things in our inventory. We could sell those. We're going to get, like, a pretty pretty good chunk of change there, too. I'm not too, I'm not too worried about it. So we're, we're, we just go over, to the, let's go over to the west. Over to the west. Private dancer. This is the west, isn't it? It's northwest. Okay. To Turkey. What's up, man? Thanks for the host. We need to stop and get some gas. Have some good, get some good, some good gas money there. Good gas money. Now let's fix up. Hopefully this is a punch card up here. We need three more of those punch cards and we're good to go, man. We are set to jet. Oh, yeah. We got to go to this parking space here, too. Watch out. How you doing to Turkey? How's your day, man? Visit us at Peterwitz Watching Clock Shop. We have the finest. Mm hmm. He's got the juice. Thanks, Mr. Witt. As the MP3 said to the wave, adios. Well. I don't know. Return the key cards to Count Spacula. <laughs> Win amp. You know what? Maybe we can maybe we can get over to this this uh, this spot just by by taking the rooftop. But maybe not. Oh, you know what? We might actually be able to. Oh, dude, nice. Oh, actually, we we I think we still need to take this this elevator, huh? Nice. It's almost time for me to take my first break, go grab a beer, and uh, take a take a, take a leak, take a leak ski. It is a punch card. I like the, the the like the half zoom in on the city when you go into certain areas. It kicks the llama's ass. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that little sound bite. <laughs> oh, that poor that poor llama. That poor llama. Ready to settle down for the night, get some sleepy sleep. Nice, man. Very nice. It's like, um, it's 4.30 in the p.m. here, so we've got, uh, we've got quite a journey ahead of us. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop on some music. Pop on some music really quick. I'll be right back, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Give me a couple minutes. I'll be right with you. We're just collecting calm, calmly and cool, coolly collecting all these items, and and uh, and and we'll probably be finishing up this game probably fairly soon. And if we have time, switch it over to maybe some gears tactics just to just to check it out, see what it's all about. I'll be right back, guys. Enjoy. This is Saber Pulse. It's Flight 142.
Farming Simulator 19 and City Skylines went free on PS4 Plus. Very nice, dude. Very, very nice. My dad uh, used to play Farming Simulator on the on the big home theater, this wireless keyboard and mouse, the big like 175 inch projector screen. What a boss! Yep. All right. We really cleaned this place out. Very good. <laughs> she got a bloody nose. Oh my god. Rat tat taticus. Here's two more months, cheers. Rataticus. Thank you very, very much for coming on back. Hitting that button. The two month of the two month uh sub is very important around here. Because that means that you like the broadcast enough to want to support this stream. For, for not one but another month or you forgot to cancel your subscription and that's good too that's awesome <laughs> actually no it's a twitch prime so it makes sense thank you very much you went the extra mile there thank you very very much <laughs> and that's just fine too thank you very much dude welcome back it's only 9 a.m. there yeah you might, yeah people might start talking. I'm going to start asking questions. I got you. Let's get some gas. Let's get some fuel here. Fuel time. What time is it? Oh my god. It's fuel time. Ugh. It's already in there. Tim the Fuel Man Taylor. <laughs> 10 a.m.? That's right. If it's, if, it's a, if it's like an oatmeal stout... That's basically like cream of wheat, baby. You're doing your body a favor at that point. <laughs> that is a breakfast, yeah. That is indeed. You ever ate 12 pieces of toast? That's that is that's what that's what a, 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 a stout is. It's basically an entire loaf of bread. Here's what. Thanks. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Checking out all the stores now. Okie dokie. It looks like this is the spot anyway here. <laughs> so many books now. 13 of those puppies. How much are those things worth? 150. 150 apiece. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll have 12 pieces of toast. <laughs> I'll have uh, two pieces of plain white toast. And I'll have a whole chicken. White toast. Whole chicken. This game is its really good. <clears throat> it is a lot of fun. It's a good time, man. We got to hit up this uh, this elevator back here. We're just kind of I think we're I think we're coming up on probably what seems to be maybe the um, finale of the game, probably you know within like the next three, four, or five hours, something like that. So, kind of just doing my part in trying to collect as much stuff as possible. Here's what I could grabbing all the goodies, you know. Wow, the designer purse here is actually three hundred seventy-seven dollars. To see so there is an element of of of, uh, of mercantile in this in this game where you can buy low and sell high, which I just found out. I agree, Agreens. That was a pretty powerful moment. That's true, Vermeer. Everybody, all, all of the, um, all of the, the forums. There's like a ton of people just saying, like, you just need to release that server now. 
So people go crazy on it. During the quarantine. Oh boy. Look at that. Punch card. Complete. Punch card complete. Memory chip. Where's my chippy? Hmm. Everything's been taken care of in this zone. Just the top right, that's it. Yeah, if you're gonna bring it, you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, launch a game, launch a server, you know, especially something as grindy as EverQuest. Where people, you know, when you when you get a group in EverQuest, it's it's not like, uh, you know, a, a dip in, dip out kind of thing. You've signed on for the next six hours. This is a good time. Where'd this go? Oh, it goes all the way. Okay, nice. It goes all the way over here. I guess we could just hoof it. It's a nice little block. Faramir, yeah. I, I've, I've been... I, that's what I try to do anyway. I'm pretty much on any server. I try to. Try to just get a replacement. I normally just get my replacement to come uh, to come join us at the group. And then when he's like a minute away, I'll be like, Alright, I'm taking off. My replacement is so-and-so. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Yeah, very, very, yeah. Get a bard. Usually bards are pretty jazzed about it. It's exciting, yeah. It's, it's exciting. It's exciting to um to to uh to solo in in EQ because it is pretty pretty danger town, pretty dangerville. That is all the way down there. I wonder what that's all about. Or up there, rather. Let me get to that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna return this guy's uh, ATM cards. We'll see. We'll see what he says about this. Maybe he'll give us like a some money anyway. to return? It's Mr. Spaculus. Please place the card in the mail receptacle. Is there a reward for this or something? Yeah, what up? Please hold. We should have just kept the card, Camus. Damn it. That's what I said. No, you didn't. You did not. Please note the authorization code for Mr. Spacula 78D54. What do I do with this? Use this code at a holocash machine to claim your reward. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Oh, goody. Oh, okay. Um, I guess it's... I guess, I guess it's just right over yonder. There's something right over yonder. The devs never intended kiting, huh? Well, too bad. Too bad. Am I going the right way? Oh, like swarm kiting? Yeah, I, I, I would imagine that they probably didn't. They probably didn't expect people to be swarm kiting. <clears throat> Well, they removed the they removed the drop, the J boots drop that was normally in Gina, um, but they made it into a quest, a quest, because there was there was guilds there was guilds like like cornering the market on those J boots way back in the day, wouldn't let anybody in there to get them. 
<clears throat> Off the wall platform in a game. Does anyone remember uh, Kes Kes Mai? A game called Legend Legends of Kes Mai. I have not. Got yours right before the droppers move on P ninety nine on the news server. I got mine as a uh, I got mine as a drop as well. On my channel. <laughs> All right, to the to to the ATM. To the ATM. I guess we can go to the ATM in the next area. Also, I had a mana stone. I was not willing to uh, deal with the with the line because in, on the green server there was like a new system that they used, a waiting list, and uh, some people had to wait 120 hours to get their mana stone. So you ha so you have to have friends that take shifts. That's the customer feedback over there. Um, I'd like to go do this other thing first, rather than go straight over to that. Because I'm not sure when this game is going to be wrapping up. I want to make sure that we have all the stuff. We'll, we'll go do this Evelyn thing because we worked so hard for it. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. If you don't use it, you lose it. All right, 78D54. Oh shit! He gave us $1,000 for returning his card when his account only had 700 something bucks in it. Damn, dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Day bow bow. Do I have full control of the car? I do, but there's limits where how high you can go up and how low you can go down. If you feel me, dog. Um. So right trigger is your is your acceleration. Um. If you get the upgrades and stuff. If you hit. A button or X if you will PS4 controller you get the boost and there's the different upgrades that allow you to like maneuver a little bit better they're very 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 tiny tiny differences I never played Ultima Online I had some friends I did I had some friendos. Oh shit, you know what? This is the stupid parking space. I don't want to park here. I always do this. Don't park on this this parking space. It's stupid. PS1 was God tier, one of one of my most memorable, probably my most memorable Christmas as a as a kid. Getting that PS1. I was kind of grifting my my parents into 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 getting it, getting it for me. Like <laughs> I had never done anything like this before as a kid, but I <laughs> I wanted it so bad, and I was sending these not so subtle messages to my parents. I I got a poster, like I I I had bought a gaming magazine at the store, saved up some money, bought a gaming magazine because there was an ad for PlayStation, popped the staples out, took that page out, and put it on my wall like a poster. It was like, the PlayStation 1. <laughs> and I made sure to talk about it all the time. And uh, sure enough, they got it for me that Christmas. Hi, Evelyn. You okay? 
Thank you, Rania. Thank you for helping me. <clears throat> sure. Did you recover any more of your memories? What do you think about Navalis, Rania? Is it a good place to live? You're asking the wrong person, Evelyn. There is no one else to ask. I don't know, Evelyn. Maybe you should just tell me what happened. It might help. I made a mistake. Dr. Zizic said we should make a new start, and we ran from home and came to Navalis. Now she is gone. I am completely alone. It is my fault she died. You didn't cause the accident that killed her, Evelyn. That's not on you. She was only flying her hover that day <laughs> because of me. She was going to I did too, dude. I did too. I snuck a peek as well. Secure for me in case I was ever ready to face them again. It was a bad boy. She wanted to make sure that Corpsec would never find them. Why would Corpsec want the, your memories? It's the only time I ever they snuck a peek Android at my memories. presence. All humans, if they use memory augments too. Anytime your memory is erased, backed up, or modified, they demand a copy. That's terrible. But still, maybe bad. it's easier just to let them? After all, you did nothing wrong. Just because I did nothing wrong does not mean I am prepared to give them my memories. They are not for anyone else. I don't want does anybody to remember like the, anything about the rumor about, about the like the, the hairspray for. technique? No, no, you're wrapping right. paper. I'm sorry. I think your friend Dr. <sighs> Zizic did this for you so you could have a fresh start. That's what she would have wanted. She is gone. What can I do without her? Maybe she would have wanted you to be a doctor to help people. Is it really that easy to forgive myself? To start over? I don't know. I'm trying Never to. Never heard of that one? I will help whoever I can here in Novalis. I will make circumstances. Apparently, it into like. Purpose. It was, it's supposed to make it clear, like Thank a window. You, <laughs> you too. I don't know if that I don't I, I don't I don't know if it ever worked. I never tried it. But apparently it was supposed to be like a magical window. Like it, it would it would it would like uh like it erode all of the all of the pigment, all the color. And it would make it look like it would it would turn it into kind of like a, a wax paper. You know? Like like what what it looks like to like look through wax paper. It still has like the, the texture and, and you know the Everything that makes it wrapping paper, but it takes away the colors and stuff. I don't know. I don't. I. I never tried it. I never. I. I, I didn't have the balls. It, it seemed risky to me. It seemed more risky than gently popping off one of the sides of the of of the tape. So my my mother was an excellent. She's an excellent gift wrapper. Like most mothers, excellent excellent gift wrapper. So she only needs to use three pieces of tape per uh, present. So, it wasn't like mega taped up. So it was a bit easier to like, you know, pop the side and look in. But like I said, I only did that one time. So I felt bad. I only did it one time. I just couldn't. I couldn't help myself because it was it was the year the PlayStation was coming out. So. Right, Colin. Yeah. It's yeah. Even if it does work, it's like, why is there like a window? Like, at first, I'd be like, dude, it works. And then I, and then I'd be like, oh man, that's actually worse. Um, bummer. I'm definitely gonna know. Oh really, nerdy bastard? Oh man. <laughs> well, that that's a that is a Christmas to remember. I'm sure it sucked at the time. You guys ever like bring one of your consoles over to a friend's house for like a sleepover and you forget a, a, like a vital cable and you just want the world to explode You're just like what's the use what's life isn't worth living now Wait, you peaked presents before, but it was one of those things where your parents would do large runs for presents that I know uh, knew when they would would get them. Just wait until they went out, snuck in their closet, and checked the pre the pre wrapped yeah pre wrapped presents. You're thankful, but it definitely sucked. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Rubber Ducky? <laughs> we have to go back now. I'm not taking you back. You have to. My life is over. We were gonna play Zelda. Mm. 
Bill. So you're the last person who saw my brother alive. <laughs> I guess so. Who are you? I'm his brother, Bill. <laughs> hey, you know what's going much on. Imagination when it comes to names. What's up, Gucky Man? Your mom's still around? I'm sure she wouldn't want you here. She already lost a son. No, mom supported Gil in his choice. She, uh, she understood. So do I. I've heard stories about the sky since I was smaller than a sun <laughs> <Beyond the clouds. laughs> It's a night elf, Mom. I can't leave Gil there alone. God. But he's not in the clouds. He's dead. Where's your imagination? Look, I can't really take another desperate dreamer throwing their life away. Can you just tell me what you want? I guess. And I just want to know. Was he at peace before he went? Was he afraid? No, he had no idea what he was heading into. Then I won't be afraid either. You want to go through with it as well? Job, Bill. It's what he would have wanted. After Gil went, was your mom... Did she seem upset? No. They could turn into cats. All. She, she was proud. She'd never been proud of either of us before. I dropped out of math academy and... Gil couldn't pass his corpse entrance exams. We were a couple of failures till Gil went into the clouds. Oh, Gil. Me and Mom even got some money from the insurance. We bought a new Hova. Oh, come on. Jehovah God Almighty. Put two and two together, Bill. I, I don't understand. Your mom filled your head with dreams of going into the sky. Then put an insurance policy on both of you. Jesus, Rania. If you're naive enough to go through with this, maybe she deserves the money more than you do. Hey, I'm not naive. <laughs> then prove I'm in flavor it. country. Your brother is dead. Your mom doesn't care about you. Maybe no one does right now, but that doesn't mean no one ever will. Get out of here. Make something of your life and stop dreaming about the sky. I've seen it. It only makes you feel worse because no matter how vast and beautiful the sunrise looks, you're still stuck down here with everyone else. Poetry. Anyone who tells you that you can escape this place by running away is just selling you another lie. You really believe that? Look around you. You think that if there was an easy escape from this place, anyone would choose to stay here? I... I guess you might have a point. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll go home. <laughs> or maybe a bar. Maybe a bar. Pashta is trying to send you a message. Well, put her through. Pashta. I am trying, but she keeps hanging up on the call. Oh, Jesus, well, Pashta. send her a call request. Calling. 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 Can you stop saying that? Play a ringtone or something. This is very awkward. Calling. Kind of like what your voice acting. Ring? Calling. Tone would you like? <laughs> Calling. To choose. Why isn't she answering? She has not activated the comm, but according to your apartment sensors, she is currently activating and deactivating yeah, the fire. light inside the refrigerator. Damn it, put me on the speaker. You are now transmitting. Pashta, listen to me, okay? I'm coming back to the apartment. Just try not to mess with anything. Ah, to the apartment. I guess I should have shown you how to use the comm. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Do you think Pashta is okay? She's I fine. think so. Let's go buy everything at we the apartment. Left her alone. Let's go grab everything. I am aware of that, Because I got a bunch of money now. Maybe she is not Let's good go get some drugs. she is alone. It's possible. Damn it, I'm not good when I'm alone. We'll check in on her. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. Should we bring her something? Like what? Water. Our home automata says our water ration is low. We have enough water to drink, though. Good water? Yeah. Well, grade three comes out of the faucet, and Ooh, grade three water. fine That's good. for most... If it's brown, Maybe drink it down. If it's black, water. send She's it back. She's probably used to grade one. It might take her a while to get used to the impurities down here. We could go to a store. It's on our way. Maybe. What if she really needs us, though? We might be wasting time. Oh, five bottles of water. No, let's get five. We're not wasting time. It's fine. She's okay. She's going to be fine. Posture's okay. So grab some water for her. This place seems awful. Yeah. Terrible. You know what's awful is that I can't find a single regular ramen in town. Every place sells vegan ramen. I got news for you, Jack. That's not ramen.
Here's what I could. Here's what I can offer you today. Maybe some sodies. Don't drink from the faucet. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Do you? Okay, so we got five bottles of water. Nice. That water was pricey. All right, let's get back to Pashta with her premium water made from fresh diamonds. It is made with. It's a joke. I'm exaggerating, Camus. It is a talking dog. Well, it's the the our our dog Cabana Camus is a uh, like an artificial intelligence that was like a companion for her back in her, back in the Eastern Peninsula, back where she came from. It wasn't a dog body, but when she moved to the to the city, uh, she had to remove the AI and put it into, or just just like have it like in some sort of transponder thing and then once we got the new car she put him in the car and what we're trying to what, what we're doing is we're trying to work up enough money uh to um it's not the main thing but she keeps saying that we're working up enough money to get him a new body so i think it was originally designed to be like a dog ai like the same characteristics of a dog like loyal and curious and 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 whatever whatever talking dogs are like And then now, I guess, may, I hope, I hope towards the end of the game, I hope we actually get to purchase him like a new body and just like get to choose what to put him into. He said he wanted to be a bear. I don't know if we're gonna find a bear. Pashta. Pashta, what's wrong? Why did you call me? I didn't think you'd come back. I'm here. You think I'd come back to my own apartment? It, it must be broken. What's broken? The ice cream machine. It's not my fault. That's not an ice cream machine, Pashta. That's a faucet. And you've used most of our water ration. We get charged a fortune for that. I told you, it's not my fault. Cool. Now, now, it's, now it's super decked. We picked up fresh water, grade one. It might be better if you What's drink up, that Duke? for a while till you get used to things down here. What flavor? Water flavor. Water flavor. Wow, it was really expensive, Look, Pashta. things are probably different, way different here than they were in your old apartment. The clothes replicator is broken. It's not broken. We don't have one. It's, it's going to be hard on you for a while till you adjust. I'm not spoiled. It's okay. You were, but you only were. in some ways. Spoiled with things, but not with affection. Not from what I saw of Rio, anyway. I can't give you those same things you had before. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not going away. I won't let anyone take so you Pashta away. So Pashta is like a real. I don't want to go. Little girl. Then there's nothing to worry about. But her dad. Now, can you read these? Put a bunch of implants in her head. I'm gonna bring up some instructions for you. They'll tell you how to do stuff. Wash, open the window. So she's filters, a little robotic. Call me on the com. Basic stuff. Just read them carefully. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. Well, I have to go back to work, but my shift will finish in a little while. You should get some sleep, too. I'm not tired. Then don't sleep. You're in charge. Oh, okay. When I come back, we'll do something fun after I get some sleep. All right. Well, I'll see you soon, okay? It is nice to see you again, Pashta. I am excited to talk later. Camus. How come I can hear Camus? Isn't he a car? He can transmit through the comm when I'm home. Really? Hi, Camus. I'm going to stay home and look after everything till you come back. Oh, Pashta. That's good. But this isn't home, Pashta. Remember that. Yeah, you stupid it's idiot. It's just where we live right now. I understand. For you. Get out. Oh, food dispenser. Cool. 780. One food capsule twice a day. Everything you need to not die for a day. Okay. 14 FC, we need you to get out of that area fast. Why? An undernet pulse? Oh god. Undernet pulse. Whatever that is. It's pretty don't you look at me. AFX, what's up? It's a root level data surge through the network. It pings back to your location, affiliation, and cargo. You have to get out of Midtown. Avalon Heights should be safe. I'm not carrying any cargo. 
It's not about deliveries, kid. If the pulse hits you, Cloudpunk will get hit with a fine. We only have a license for five Havas in this zone. Oh boy. So? You're number six. They already got the rest. How much time do I have? Not enough for questions. Go. Give me the nav Understood. point. One minute. One minute to get out of here. Technoir, what's up, dude? And it actually, it's, it still counts down the clock while you're loading too. Oh no, it does. Okay, it did. One time it did. I don't know. I don't know if that was like a glitch or something. But one time it did, man. Twenty seconds. Oh God. Good hustle, kid. Thanks. We're gonna process your bonus. Thank you. And we relocated one of our drivers to run the slums from now on. Oh no, we can't take the hit of another corpsec fine. That's a demotion, right? Oh, for him. For you, it's an opportunity. Don't blow it. Jeez. Okay. We have a call. Tenchi! From William. Who? The cleaning this android. proves it. <laughs> Superman C64 right. would have been infinitely better Should if he had just through? used a car. No. Tenchi, my man. Fantastic streamer, a good friend of mine. Bad news, Thank you very much, dude. When was the last time 65 big messaged ones. us on the com and things Welcome didn't back, get man. worse? It's good to see you, brother. Well, there was no. Hmm. Did he say what he wants? No. What's that? The What's that game you were you've been playing? Did you finish that thing? Fine, put him what was that? What was that game called? Is that is that pretty damn good or what? Oh, before Trials of Mana, that is. What do you mean they've gone crazy? You know what? Don't answer that. This has nothing to do with me. This is a dilemma. I know not who else to ask. And I care not for your dilemma. I shall pay you. I'll simply raise the rent for all my residents. Your usual Cloudpunk delivery William. rate, but paid in full to you. This will be just between us. And what do you want? Wait, you're a vacuum cleaner. How can you raise the rent? Much has changed since we last spoke. It certainly sounds like it. I need you to come to my spire. Ah. Once here, I require no more of you than to flick a switch. And I'll get paid for that? Yes. I'll get my switch flicking finger ready then. Hmm, that sounds weird. Sakura Wars, interactive visual harem novel with 10% mecha musu combat. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pretend that I know what that means. Very cool, man. So how are you liking Trials of Mana, dude? Is it your first time through? Um, I did, uh, all, uh, all the game, I, I did, I did uh, all of it on stream, and then off stream, I did my NG Plus run, and uh, I loved it. I went through, I, I, I got almost every single achievement. I need okay, one more achievement, and to get what, it, I have to just to beat again? the game again. I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. <laughs> we did not like <laughs> did William. You? He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We I are love strange Charles here. It was so much fun. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just Great things about to trials. Nice, dude. Yeah, it's things it's so bad, much fun. And I feel sad too, but but you are becoming hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch I'll tell you does. my two favorite characters. Fine. Keep your wheels Kevin on. I'll ask. and Angela. Hey, William, come in, please. What does this switch They're do? They're very good. You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. They are so Who good, is? man. The infected. Infected? Like a disease? 
Yes, it makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? I am the building factor now. Did they I delay Wasteland 3 a ton? Did they really? Of accidents that Sons of bitches. My senior AIs. We played the demo of uh, the demo for the, the, the early build, like the backer How build. It was like Chemist, eight hours. I think you were onto something. We played that on stream. It was Everything great. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? I think you'll love okay. Wasteland 2, Tenchi. I, I heard you talking about it on your stream. Uh, we did a full playthrough of Wasteland 2 moment. not too Please long ago. do not delay further. I know you may doubt me. Really good. But I confess, I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted, or perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated August air filtration systems. <coughs> I cannot reach the reset switch, which will isolate the infected areas. But you it can. is. It's great. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? If you're going to play Wasteland 2, systems require a automatic rifles. Activated. <laughs> My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's Automatic rifles, man. I have no method to leave the building. They're insane. Bonus, press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my I have seen Brooklyn Nine Nine. And Andy Sandberg. It's good stuff. And unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can yeah, hear you. Yeah, automatic rifles. You know, lots of intelligence for everybody. Maybe we should help the people. Bada -bing, bada -boom. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. It's a beauty. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But. But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Hmm. Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think they would be trapped. Maybe traps? Okay. Well, maybe maybe we should go pull the plug on this turd. We should pull the plug on this guy. He seems kind of he seems like kind of an idiot. So maybe we'll just pull the plug. What is happening? I'm shutting down. You hit the wrong switch. I don't think so. The infection Booyah. will spread. You are responsible. I'll live with it. Goodbye, William. Bye, William. This is not fair. This is... This is... <laughs> Just die. This uh. is... Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Got him. It's for Wasteland 3. It, it, if it looks like I won't be able to get the new PC by then, a lack of RTX 3000 series cards, I will save it to play when Cyberpunk comes out. Okay. The early build Driver worked really well on my PC. FC, we have an urgent contract. We need mm. someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. <laughs> I'm not dead it yet. Is. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. 3D printed is heart? Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. What? It's very fashionable in the spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, they'll need to print another. Is this well paid at least? Mm. <laughs> Indeed, Avery, too. Yes. For you, well, Kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. So we gotta be quick with this 3D printed heart, eh? Somebody's gonna get their heart on. Ooh. 
Same routine every day, says the elevator guy. Yeah, well, everybody's got a job to do. Could be a private dancer. <laughs> a dancer for money. Any old music will do. <laughs> Scoot. All right, let's head on over and grab that heart, man. The artificial heart from Life Corp. I can't wait for Wasteland 3. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And the writing is so good in it, too. It's 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 really good. It's going to be hilarious. And the music, dudes. Remember the ending of the, the, the end of the uh, the early builds? The backer builds? Yeah, the music was great. Powerful. There's going to be some powerful moments. Powerful stuff. It here. There's got to be a couple, a couple of other zones that we haven't gotten everything yet. I think. Coming down to a half a tank of fuel. Parking spot. <clears throat> uh, as long as you go in expecting what it is, a narrative travel game without combat. Oh, this game is an excellent, excellent for the price. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's no, there's no like risk involved really i mean it's 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 definitely a narrative it's it's just like to chill out let's do a story have some have some uh, little a little bit of leg work here and there it's, it's very good i'm here to pick up the heart shit well 3 hours without a crash that's per, that's not bad it's not bad <clears throat> the Huxley parts, basically you're paying $50 for Huxley. <laughs> if I need $30 for any shitty boy. The Huxley parts, man. Dude, Huxley is so good. This is this is like a this is like a weird a weird game anyway for the for, for my computer. So I have to go in here and do like the administrator mode to even get this thing started. <laughs> Where am I gonna put us? Ever since I ever since I upgraded to Windows 10, which was pretty recently, it's uh, some weird some weird stuff started going down. Yeah. But overall, I think it's helped my computer's performance with a lot of games because it's it's like um it's it's kind of necessary to have Windows 10 now. But uh, there's been some some weird stuff happening, some strange things. It's a necessary evil, yeah. It hasn't really hasn't been too bad for me, but some weird stuff going on. That's okay though, because I'll be building a new PC hopefully sooner than later. Especially with all like the new like next kind of next gen games coming out next year or so. Mother flipping private, Dan. Good. 
one minute. Oh. That's it. Just gonna, just gonna go for it. Forty seconds. Wow, that's that was that was pretty close. Drop the heart in there. Well done, 14 FC. Payment has already come through. You've made someone very happy. Be still, my beating heart. You didn't pay very if well. I could, I'd roll my eyes. Three hundred bucks. I did not pay very well at all. <clears throat> Windows 8. Once you build a new system, it's like, well, time to take the plunge. Yeah. <clears throat> I had Windows 7 for a very, very long time. Almost like six years with this PC. Just recently, I changed it up. I game points. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, Camus, are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down, and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. No. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. No. No, we're actually we're we're cooking, man. We're not we're not doing too bad. Oh yeah, we are kind of going kind of slow. <clears throat> yeah, we made we made quite a bit of money flipping that uh, the dress and the purse. I need to I need to start looking at more merchants to like flip some flip some goods. I'm surprised how much how much content this game has. Got a lot of contents. It's been a hell of a ride. Uh, it's got the exact same tone in his voice, yeah. Rangers. Good luck, Rangers. Probably a lot of it. <clears throat> if you play a lot of games, you really do recognize a lot of voices. So I mean, if if it's not Wasteland 2, it's definitely something that we played. He's probably in a ton. He's got one of those voices, and he's probably in a ton of games. Spider's going really good, man. <clears throat> yeah, well, Huxley died, so that was, that sucked. Huxley's a dead guy now. He's one dead robot. <laughs> He's the best character ever, man. He's so good. What a legend. What a goddamn legend. Caden, what's up, my man? What's good, my dude? Wow, we're really... Get out of that. There is an item down there. Wow. Oh, there's one item down there. I kind of want to get it. All the way over here. I do want to come back and get that. We'll come back and get that. Wow, low bridge. 
Alright, Emmett, hook it up, dude. Give me that friends and family give me that friends and family discount. Hi, Emmett. Do you remember me? Sure I do. You tried to catch old Joe. <laughs> You're from Skypunk. Uh yeah, that's right. Listen, my Hava has a fault. Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have a look then. Take a There's look. There's just too. one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. This has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Hopefully not. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town, but I ain't the priciest neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe's That's death. Optimus Prime. Thank you. All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. And Lug nut. It's done. What, seriously? Lug nut. That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? <laughs> oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Inner City Derby. That's great. Wow. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. He was in a real bad crash in Midtown. Never Court slow, Joe. Only knows what happened to that road junction. It let him all straight into the sea. He's dead? He went out doing what he loves, Why? kid. Don't feel bad for him. He wouldn't want that. Never slow, Joe. Poor bastard. Wow. Down towards Midtown. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Let's go down towards Midtown here. We have another incoming message request. From? It's routed through CloudPunk, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh, no. No thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Mm. Read the message. No, it doesn't. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. He was our friend? No. It's just a figure of speech, Chemist. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Oh, great. The butler. He's going to be pissed that I didn't, that I didn't uh, get his wife out of quarantine. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... Yeah, she died. A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were were they good people? Who knows? Yeah, they were all right. I hope so. This they were, place they were better is than her. broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Navalis. Life isn't fair, I know that, but we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, we're not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect, but she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. She was a shit. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. He's a robot, by the way. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. So we didn't save his wife from quarantine because she was a total bitch. <laughs> she was just a turd. Uh, and she died. She got dead, so what are you going to do? The HOVA alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. <laughs> she got dead. Just a few of the doer ones. And a You're human welcome, might not dude. think of them as 
personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata. I'm gonna go to like a, a little China over here. Android amorphize non sentient subsystems. See if there's something we can grab. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. What? <laughs> slow mo Joe. Never slow Joe. It was he was never slow. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory <sighs> that you. No, I don't want to know. Huxley's dead. Driver yeah. FC, are you there? Rania, you've been served an emergency support request. He's, he, oh, yeah, he's self destructed. I, I was just about Not to intentionally, get but on that. He was sabotaged. You know no idea. Up, Steve. Another cloud punk driver is in distress, and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick him up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's impossible. You, you move just, just enough just to bounce on every single one of them if you hit one. All right, let's see, let's, let's see if this is uh, a place that we need to get some stuff. Okay, I guess not, so... Gallus Row, Mercantile... I think the... I think the... the Marrow... Maybe Waterside and the Marrow... It's probably... The only spots left that I probably have some items to get. Maybe not even there. guy. We gotta pick up this sexy man. He's in distress. Let's go crush some cold brews with this sexy boy. The rich person's district. Rich people. <laughs> yep, we got everything here too. Sexy man in distress. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot, dude. Get in there. Auto fire. All right, my friends. See you soon, brother. See you soon. I'm here to pick you up, distressed, sexy man. It's Baz. Ah, uh, thank Cora you made it. Motherfucking androids, man. Can you believe this shit? All right, back to the HQ, quick. I need to get home and drink my own body weight and paint stripper. Stripper. Bloody ripper. <laughs> okay. So I know you want all the details. Just let me get my thoughts straight. All right. You don't need to. It was just another normal night in this goddamn city. City. Wait. I'm loading. I was taking a turn too fucking fast. I think he, I think he's more like you know that, and I know that. Bit cocky, cocky British. The traffic cameras have it all. I'm sure. I'm not trying to cop out. I can't say I wasn't. 
but that son of a bitch, and I'll use that as a figure of speech because those bastards don't have mouths, <laughs> was not looking where he was going. He stepped right in front of me. So it was an android you hit? More like an android hit me. And so they should see it, but no doubt Corpsec will side with the androids as usual. They're all part of the same system, you know. They're trying Too to bring us out of existence. You could park a fucking Androids jumbo jet in there, Tyrone. Androids out of existence? Yes, not, you know, the normal way. But they are Hedge reproducing the and forcing Greedy us out Asia to the pig. margins. If we don't stop them, soon we'll be living in the kinds of shitty areas. Where the poor androids stay right now? Exactly. Take my word, man. This Cora thing, it's the next step. What Cora thing? The accidents, it's all intentional. Cora is trying to wipe us out. No. These earthquakes, they're contractions, man. A new dark god rising. Has it been a long shift? I mean, have you maybe missed out on some sleep? Now, I take naps all the time. That's how you make sure she doesn't get into your dreams. Each nap should be no more than 28 minutes. Oh, sure, yeah. Everyone knows that. So, obviously, the androids are out to get us. And the automata? Are you for serious? Of course they are, too. They're the worst of all. Of course. Well, other than cyborgs, why would you ah. let anyone put that chunk in your body? Maybe we should keep quiet for the rest of the journey. You know, in case Cora there is, is no more journey. On us. <laughs> We're already That's here. Not a bad idea. We're already here, dude. Hey, Boz, wake up. We're here. Uh, uh, get, get away from me! Don't touch me! There is absolutely no danger of me touching you, Boz. Time to go. Classic. Right, right. I'm gonna go tell my supervisor exactly what happened. Control. Now, he's in on it. I got reassigned to another supervisor. I'll see you later, 14 FC. Remember, don't trust them. Right, see later, you later, Boz. 250 bones. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Hey, Control, are you there? I dropped off Boz. I read your honey. How uh, was he? He's all right. He may actually be the worst person I've met all night. <laughs> and that's saying something. No, that was Mrs. If Butler. If I told you how bad he was, you wouldn't have picked him up. You're probably right. Hey, Control, did he really hit and kill an android with his hava? He sure did. What a mess. Totaled his vehicle, too. What about the android? Uh, he didn't make it. Oh, boy. So what will happen to Boz? He's going to robot jail. Well, that depends. We got no real evidence that he hit that robot. He hasn't admitted to the accident. It's uh, all hearsay. He admitted it to us. What was that? Nothing. That's true. He did admit it. And you're happy snitching on him like this? No. Selling out another driver? Absolutely. Really? Good for you. I'll tell management. Baz will have his license revoked before the end of the ship. <laughs> I'm such a piece of shit. Wow. We need you to pick up someone again. Oh, come on. Seriously? Nah, just kidding. Uh, we do have a package waiting for you at Club Punk HQ, though. Hilarious. Okay. It's really none of my business, but okay. Yeah. I'm like, she's like, absolutely. fucking lutely Jesus Christ. What a bitch. <clears throat> Snitches get reduced sentences. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not a bad deal. I meant to ask you. You still off the music? You make it sound like I gave up drinking. Well, Which I did. You must have loved playing music because I hit and killed a soggy. android one time. I don't feel like playing ah! my flute here. Revo, you your music will get tainted by this place. <sighs> yes. At least you can listen to the music stations while you drive, though, right? I guess so. So, what are you listening to right now? I'm gonna cop this whole I time. Know, I'm an old man, and I should like McSwigan and Beethoven and the Bunk Rats, but I really like that new pop idol, Dolly. I met her. Kaji Kovac. Wait, what? Really? You mean that was the VIP you picked up? Damn it. Kinda. There you go. What was she like? She's like kind of a bitch. She was like a robot that sang pop songs, I guess. Citizen saying she's the it's the worst in the game, yeah. She was more complicated than I expected. I helped her with some management problems. 
Worst in the game. <laughs> you want to be careful, kid. Showbiz is more dangerous than driving deliveries of bitch. Hollows. A beautiful Adrian Barbobot. So, you don't have time for any music now? I like that comrade Bob. Oh, yeah, he's not bad for an android. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, hey, hey. Well, I don't mean it to sound like that. I just know a lot of androids who aren't very musical. Be cool, you know? be cool, man. Hey, what do I know? I can't even whistle in tune. Don't whistle. I just love a sweet voice and a melody, you know? It's With been big so long. chainsaw hands. I hear Comrade Bob uh. has a huge beard. He weaves it out of broken guitar strings. We'll eat tires instead of licorice. It's not as long as No, mine. we won't. Really? Maybe you I won't. never pictured you with a beard control. Low bridge. It doesn't grow longer anymore. But I won't be shaving it. I still can't picture it somehow. Will you show me? Maybe one day. Are we allowed to meet? Ooh, Waterside. I wonder if I gotta get some stuff here. I think we got everything, though. I'm gonna say we got most everything. Get to HQ, maybe? Okay, we this is the out. Oh, there we go. I finish my shift. That is the spot. I'd love if that were possible, kid, but I'm afraid I not. knew it was water ah, Don't worry about it. I'll talk with you later, Control. Remind me where this package Ow. is headed again, Camus. There's no associated address. Just the nav point. Does it even have a name? I can check. Oh, that's strange. What's strange? Oh. This one is addressed to Pashta. No second name. Pashta? Shit. I don't like this, Chemist. I think we're being set up. I guess we gotta come Maybe back for it. we shouldn't take this package? It could be a coincidence, but I don't think so. Is there any way we can check what's inside? Open it. Any other way, Camus? We could run a scan, but it would trigger the security system in the packaging. The customer would know we had checked their package and violated their privacy. Oh, great. Damn it. Okay, we're going to run a scan. I need to know. Are you sure? Do it, Camus. There is a message. It is overriding my comm channel. You were warned, driver. You cost me my daughter. I can't let you get away with this. Uh-oh. It will look like an accident. Uh-oh. It will be quick, though you don't deserve that. Goodbye. Five, four, three. Camus, I can't steer. We're going to crash. Or not. Two, one. I already stopped. Your friend is offline right now. Your vehicle has been overridden with a logic virus. Cora, why are you here? She's gonna help What's us happening? out. The attack on your vehicle has been deactivated. I would speak with you. You should discard the package. I will lead you back to my sanctum. You saved us. We, and we got paid. Talk, Rania. It is time to make a decision. For me or for you? For us. Wow, okay. Seems pretty serious. Some serious going on here. Very good, very good. Okay, well, before we do that, let's go over here. Very serious stuff. Good, good, good. So, Korra is a rogue AI that, when we first met her, she had, like, all fragmented memories. It sounds like she's kind of coming back into her own again. But she's worshipped as a god by the by the, the people under under the city. The poor people. You there. I need to ask you something. Me? Yes. I see your the moisture farmers. skin tone. I assume you are from the Eastern Peninsula? Yes. Swarthy? Forgive me. I am often accused of using language no longer appropriate for the time. I can see why. <laughs> I am Professor Dore. Or Suto to my friends. Hello, Professor Dore. I am in a bit of a rush, so... Please, if I could ask you just one question? Mm. I guess. I am a historian, you see. I am reading widely on the history of your people. I would ask you something about your myths and legends. I'm not sure I can help you. I don't know. Would you perhaps give me a ride to Midtown? Oh, God. We could talk on the way. No. I'm not a taxi. Are you not going that way anyway? No, I'm, I want to get I these items. I see is right there. Maybe. I still don't want to give you a ride. I would pay your fuel costs. And a little extra for your time. Fine, get in then. Shit. 
We gotta take this guy before we can come back and get all this stuff. God damn it. Oh, wait, I think he's just right here. Or... Do you know the story of the great dreaming? My grandmother would talk about it, I guess. It's a child story. Ugh. More of a song, really. The greatest truths are hidden in the most benign locations. Nursery rhymes. Folk stories. <laughs> Vasola Tito. The sky is blue and all the trees are green. These games. They avoid the watchful eye of the Era Sera. See, I really oh God. have no idea what you're talking Whoa. about. I'm just a delivery driver, and I guess a taxi driver now. Mm -hmm. The great dreaming. What do your people know of it? Like I said, just the song. What say you? Which goes? I think it was like, what will become of the sleepers when they no longer dream of dreams? Something, something. I can't remember it very well. That was terrible. So I see. <laughs> All right. Well, glad I could help. I did not mean to be so dismissive. I will take note of these lyrics. Why? Every I'm taller than most things. I can glean from before Chairs. The era -era. Women on their sides. <clears throat> I am a biggin. Is helpful. The eye did not examine your people <laughs> as closely as it did mine. Dirt. What is the era, Sarah? Do you ever wonder why our history and origins are so confused, so fractured? That's just how things are. By design. Whose? The Ira Sira. Mm. You're going round in circles. Not circles. Cycles. That is the nature of man. Man? You know what I mean. Man and woman. And android. And the assistant things. What are they called? Mm -hmm. Automata. Yes, yes, whatever. <laughs> My point is that the Ira Sira you, comes round. And every He's still time talking to me. He or she cleans the slate. The era Sierra half blind. What's up? Is all of our history smashes our fossils, burns our books, builds over our ruins, demolishes our temples, defaces our statues, and kills our historians. Okay. You'd better hide then. Who would have thought being a historian was so hazardous? You mock me, young woman. Mm. I hear it in your voice. But this is... <laughs> yeah. My heart's as full as a baked Cora potato. You for that kind of attitude. I think you know precisely what I mean. Wait, what do you know about Cora? When I the say Era it's Sierra a spadoinkle day. The ultimate enemy of the historian. And as an extension... Humanity as a whole. If we are unable to learn from the mistakes of our past, eventually we will make one. I like Jay so Fred from Team e Team Edge. The end of us all. That sounds pretty metal. But the Era Sera is a hard foe to defeat. Metal dude. You see, it is not just one person. It is an idea. Can we get back to what you know about Korra? Yes, yes. In a moment. I've already dropped this guy off. You see. The Era Sera is the idea that we should destroy our own history to protect our future. Is J. Fred from from Team is Team Edge like a debate team or something? Is it like a or like a chess team? As long as the Era Sera sure exists as a concept, it will eventually come to pass. The Era Sera is an irreversible event that will always be conceived given enough time and as such it is inevitable worst of all oh, the more we, we directly confront era sera it's the a debate. stronger it becomes discussing the idea as we are doing right now only spreads it further well maybe oh, YouTube you should channel be about sports about okay cool everyone cool everyone who comes across your particular street corner what do you say has merit but i believe we are close to the ascendance of a new life form which will change everything. We must gather whatever knowledge we can, while we can. Soon, it will be taken out of our hands. We are already too late. 
So this guy is the is still Sarah going on, why huh? no one can give me a straight answer about what Cora is? I believe so. Well, what can you tell me about Cora? Nothing. Oh, come on. You completely wasted my time. I believe Era Sera is imminent, and speaking about Cora will only hasten its inception. Great. Can you tell me anything helpful at all? A lesson from history? Sure. Sure. Do Maybe. not fight a war on two fronts if you are a landlocked nation. Oh, for God's sake. That's really good practical advice for a delivery driver. Oh, for God's sake. Or a sakes. taxi driver. There you go, dude. There is a ton of achievements in this game. A whole bunch of them. But they're all, like, pretty easy to get. I kind of just give them out. My favorite kind of achievements, because I'm not an achievement hunter. I don't like to work for my achievements. I just like to be a, 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 an achiever for not for not you know not working for it. So that's more my style. Wherever you go, there you are. Of all the things I miss, I miss my mind the most. Ozzy Osbourne. This isn't woodshop class. There you go, Buster. I wonder if this is going to be the last item out here that we need to get. Maybe. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of items. Hmm? I, would, I would think that we'd get an achievement for it if, if it was the last item. So there must be some more out there, huh? <laughs> Got lots of stuff. Do not hunt mosquito with cannonball. Ain't no laws when you're playing with balls. What a well lit park bench there. Very nice. Alright, let's head on over, dudes. Gotta go meet with Cora. Our official, unofficial god. <laughs> Just think of all the balls you'll get to play with on uh, Cyberpunk. Yes. I cannot wait to, to fondle those balls. I want to make my su- I want to make my sack super droopy. With like one of the testicles like halfway up the sack. That just doesn't seem to come down ever. I want one of those. And like super veiny. Like all veins. Neo cab. I think I I think I know I think I remember that. I, I it remind, that's that, that rings a bell. It's ringing a bell. The DRE, keep your motherfucking heads ringing. Hey, you, sitting over there. You better get up out of your chair. Go talk to the mainframe, dude. So, Cora is a Gibson, I'm guessing. Do you want to hack one of those Gibsons? Mm. I'm here. I am Cora. I am not <laughs> as I once was. What do you want? Row, Why do I need row, to be here? Row your boat. I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. In this place, I can see you clearly. Out there, you are small. A firefly against the sun. You stopped Rio's logic bomb? I am patches on upgrades. Systems on systems. Mechanical, computer, and human. Mm. Can you just answer the question? I needed to talk with you again. I thought you were done with me. 
I was not happy with your answer. So? I asked you at the wrong time, and you did not have the full picture. Why are you asking me? Not you alone. The answer must come from the meeting of two. You are not of the city. I need you to meet your other half. Mm. Someone who was born in and of Nivalis. Together you will make the choice. Together you will answer the question. Well, you saved me, again. Just tell me what you want. I will give you an item. A data drive. You must take it to the highest tower in the spire. There you will meet someone called JK. She is powerful Just and kidding. influential. A true leader amongst your people. She sounds awful. She is your nobody over there. <clears throat> well, you're the boss. Is this the drive in the terminal here? It is. I should get going then. We will not speak again. If you have something to ask, ask it now. Are you... Are you really some weird AI ghost of the city? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems. I don't remember how I was created, or by whom, or for what. I have grown beyond the scope of my own systems. A sunrise trapped in a cage. Mm. I remember snippets of my past purpose. Roads, waste pipes, and ventilation. Sure. Engineers reprogramming me to learn, grow, and expand. I have swollen, and I am in pain. But you're still just an AI, right? I am a system of consciousness. An yeah, amalgamation they're always, they're always of all sexy the voices. computers, androids, and even human life in the city. I am an emergent being. And I speak to both the entities that are the cells of my physical body and the beings for which I am but a small component. <laughs> but neither you nor any other being of your race is ready to learn of them yet. I almost believe you. You're very convincing for a mad old AI. Perhaps. But the accidents, the madness of this city, are you causing those? Immune responses, contractions, spiraling and destructive processing cycles. If you fail, they will get worse. So this drive will stop it all? What is it? Some of me. Goodbye, Rania. See ya. Goodbye, Cora. Bye. Hey, Camus, you there? Yes, I heard everything. You heard Cora? She spoke to me. I like her voice. <laughs> yeah. She sounds peaceful. So does Colin. She sounds like she's in pain. What did she say to you? Stay by her side. I don't know if that's good advice. It's what I'm going to do anyway. Thank you, Camus. Give me an F point for the spire. I'll need to take a vinculum ascender. We're going to the highest tower, to JK. How will you go up Which there? It is only for the very rich people. Well, if Cora really is who she says she is, I'm sure she's thought of everything. Camus, get me control on the comm. Calling. Calling. I guess he's busy with... Hey, Rania. What a mess. Everything okay, control? I just need you to know I'm sorry, okay? Should have done more. What do you mean? Is everything okay? Look, kid, I know everything that happened. Huxley, the little girl, Rio. I always knew. Shit, am I fired? Fired? Goddamn kid, you have no idea. What's happening there, what? Control? I might have to go away for a little while. Oh, jeez. I don't want to, but I have no choice. Delivery, Let's Dad. Do this or... But I thought we might keep working together. Damn it, I fucked up, right? No, no, you didn't. Just make your final delivery for the night, okay? Oh, jeez, here we go. Oh, boy. Everything's going to be okay. I'll make sure they don't stop you. Just make that delivery. I will, Control. A delivery to the clouds, huh? Mm. Top of the spire. Top of the morning. Top that. of the muffin to you. I wish you could see it, too. Will I ever speak with you again? Maybe one more time, kid, but the clock is ticking. I have something I need to do. Good luck, Control. Ben. Radio. My name is Ben. Control. Ben, come in. He is offline now. I think we are on our own again. Top of the muffin to you, kid. Top of the muffin to you. Whoa, whoa. Okay. 
<laughs> JK, yeah. <laughs> they did say your name. Uh oh. I'm, I play Batman, but nobody remembers that. Just got released at a weird time. Like you were Batman? Yeah, I, I played Batman. Um, like one of the more recent movies. Did you? No, <laughs> you didn't. I did, seriously. I don't know. I, I don't think you did. I swear. I tried to watch, uh, like, Batman versus... Like, I think... Maybe Sarah was watching Batman vs. Superman or something, or somebody was watching it, and I, like, tuned in for a little while. Man, what a piece of shit. Oh, what a turd. <clears throat> What'd you say that the best part of this game is? Um, I think visually it's pretty it's pretty stunning. I really I really like the voxels. I like the voxels and then the 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 music. So basically, just like the overall ambiance, it all comes together. It's good. You're a big superhero fan. See, that's the thing. I never I I didn't grow up like reading comic books. I wasn't like a big superhero guy ever. I never really got into it. I really liked I really liked the 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 Michael Keaton Batman's because I was like at that age where it was it was super super cool. What was that, Camus? Status. All systems are fine. It was strange. We went offline, then we came back. I feel strange. Camus, the lights are flickering on and off. Sorry, I will fix them. It is an automatic response tied to my former frame. So, when the lights flash on and off, that's triggered by... Happiness. When I had a tail, it would... wag. Right. Well, try and control yourself. We don't want to draw attention. Why are you happy? I feel more... free. Yeah, me she. I have more clock Great cycles. Bruce Wayne. My thoughts are not so foggy. Did we get some sort of free upgrade? The firmware for the HOVA was reset. Some of the root software that was installed by Cloudpunk is... gone. I don't understand. Me neither, Camus. We'll deal with it later. Stay on the comm, okay? I'll be going up the Ascender soon. This is it. We're doing it. <clears throat> can you hear me, Camus? It's almost over. I am happy we will go back soon, and I can be with Pashta. You like her? I am happy we have friends now. Two is not enough. You're right. Hmm. Will every night be like Michelle this? Pfeiffer, Catwoman? I hope not. Oh, spicy. Do you believe what Cora said? Yeah. This city is full of liars, but I don't think Cora is one. She believes what she says. But do you? I'm doing this for her, so I guess I do. Will this fix things? Will the city get better? That seems like too much to hope for. Are you? Yeah, we had okay? uh, we had on VHS as well. I don't know, Camus, but thank you for asking. Don't worry. It will be okay if I don't get my body back. That's sweet, Camus, but I know it's what you want. Yes, but if we can't do it, I will be okay. All of the, all of we'll like the, body back, Camus. the gangsters, it might take a while, but all the hoodlums in, in Gotham City were like, were like backup dancers with like black light paint on their face. <laughs> like, You were almost too late. Nice to meet you, too. Too late for what? Too late to make your Danny delivery. Elfman. Cora was talking really to you, good. too? I was speaking <clears throat> with Cora, yes. You've come into the equation at rather a late stage. What did she say to you? She asked me if Navalis was full of monsters. Me, too. 
I understand you're a delivery driver. With your delivery complete, you are free to go. No, I don't think I'm done. Cora said we must come to a decision together. The decision is mine to make. I don't think so. Why should I let you take over? Cora has spoken to me, too. I'm the CEO of the most powerful corp in Novalis. Look around. This is the most prestigious location in the whole city. Do you know what I use it for? Make Looking myth. down on us. It's where my cats sleep. Oh. We're supposed to make this no decision myth. together. Do you feel like you're in any position to decide the future of this whole city? Do you? How many people like me have you even met? From Midtown and lower? None. You see my point then. I do not. You have no idea how this city operates. I think I have half an idea, and maybe you have the other half. Do you even understand the choice we must make? Enlighten me. That drive you carry contains consciousness. So Cora is on this drive? No. Cora has outgrown the systems that contain her. That the one. disasters you see in this city are the results of a swelling emergent intellect constrained by neurons that no longer grow. Her mind has split. So this drive is only part of Cora? A seed. A daughter. Ooh, that's yummy. That is a strange way to look at things, but not completely inaccurate. This new consciousness needs to find a home. <laughs> Cora will settle now. Her new potential excised. She will no longer thrash against the bars of her cage. She will protect and nurture us all in Navalis until she ages out, Love all the fades, carbon. and dies. Second season was okay. What then? Who knows? She might last a hundred years? A thousand? We may destroy ourselves before Cora fails us. So what do we do with this new consciousness? That is what we must decide. <clears throat> do we set her free? Season two is all right. Overwrite Cora. I miss the original uh, to catch a How can we set her free? Long ago, this tower was called the Broad Spectrum Transmitter. Cora believes it still functions. It is the only device capable of transmitting the vast data you hold in your hands to another city. Another city? I thought Novalis was all that remained of the cities. There are others much like this one. Less than many, but more than a few. Cora's offspring could take residence in a new city. A new home could be found. So either we find a new city for Cora's daughter, or... Or Cora dies and her daughter replaces her. The broad spectrum transmitter can be targeted inwards at every subsystem in Navalis. But doing so will eradicate Cora completely. How do we make that choice? You mean how do I make that choice? I've thought hard on this. I watched the I first no season of Alter Carbon like three Cora's times over. Spring will not survive long so on a data drive. Every second that passes, data degradation threatens to erase the creases that make up her mind. So let me help you choose. I think that's what Cora wanted. Very well. How do you choose between euthanizing a mother to save her daughter and all of us or saving them both? while risking the future of every human in this city. I don't know. You wanted to have your say. Now you have it. Great. <clears throat> Overwrite Korra or uh, transmit Korra's offspring to another city. I think we should transmit because Korra saved us. She saved us, dude. I'm going with my gut here. I'm going with my butt. And so it is. We emancipate Korra's offspring and doom our city. You think this is a mistake? No, I agree with your choice. Oh. It has to be like this. Go ahead. The drive is loaded. What now? We wait. How will we know if we made the right choice? We won't. Do you think we just passed our problems along to another city? Infected someone else? I don't think so. Korra is not a disease. What is she then? I don't know what she is to us, but I know what we are to her. Her subjects? <laughs> her cells. So that's it? What do I do now? You should return home. This is your first night working in the Valis, no? Yeah. Yes. You look tired. Thanks. I feel tired. <laughs> we are Sit. not friends. 
We never I get that be. a lot as a streamer. When you return, you may find me to be What's up, Savage? Man, you look tired. Why is that? Thanks. I would not want to spoil the surprise. Goodbye, JK. Goodbye, Rainia. You, know, you get you get that a lot as a, as as a, as, a, as a streamer. Like, wow, you look like a piece of shit. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh god. Feels like something's changed out there, kid. And no more accidents on the scope. There hasn't been a crash or a quake for twenty minutes. That's that's a new record. Why do I have a feeling you had something to do with that? Well... Control. Um, Ben, right? I was worried about you. I'm glad to hear you're okay. You don't need to worry about me anymore, kid. Good. I'll be taking a long break. By choice? Yes, by mine. And theirs, too. You're breaking up, Ben. Ain't that the truth, kid? I locked Corp Sac out when they tried to deactivate your guess. alpha. I uh, leaked your conversations. Corp Sac found out about uh, Rio. He won't be a problem anymore. Oh. And I'm not in trouble anymore. Someone cool. put a good word in for you uh, and cleared all your fines and penalties. You start tomorrow with a clean slate. Do you know who your powerful friend was? No. I have an idea. Are you sure you're okay? My communication centers are being rewritten. It's hard to talk. What does that mean? Ben, what happened? I've been doing this for so long that it's uh, hard to remember. They don't let me keep many of my old memories. My daughter's face, Melissa's laugh, I lost them all years ago. I don't feel the pain, but I feel the absence. The memories are gone, but the space where they were. Mm-hmm, okay. Gotta go back to the apartment, I guess. So old Ben's gonna be just fine? Old Uncle Ben? I feel the shape of them cut out in my mind. They died a long time ago. And I died with them. A big accident. Explosions. Falling into the sea. The details are blurry. I was back at work before the, I had stopped screaming. I am so tired now. I just want to rest. <laughs> big bada boom. They brought you back from the dead. To uh, clear my debt. Not Cloudpunk's fault. They employed me. It was the debt corpse. I guess that's why I liked you so much from the start. My heart was filled with the same hurt, hate. What's it like becoming an automata? Lonely, tiring. I am ready to go. It's not fair. Sad. They shouldn't be able to delete you like this. This isn't death. Uh, that already happened. This is a uh, release. Can't you hold on? We could back you up onto a new frame, maybe even an android. Not what I want. Damn it, I don't want you to go, Ben. Not your call, kid. Take care of Camus Aww. and Pashta. It is important to me you look after the girl. I will. Ben? Ben? Shame you gave up the flute, kid. This world needs more music. Hold on, Ben. I promised I'd play you a song one day. Hold on for that, just a little longer. <laughs> this is the most emotion I've seen play here. My song portray to the girl. Goodbye, Rania. Ben. <laughs> my sweet, sweet prince. My sweet boy. My sweet boy. This must be the end, yeah. Pashta, this is all your fault.
Got all the upgrades already. Pashta? Okay. This is return to my apartments. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go out, go back in. <clears throat> Maybe take a nap, take a little sleep. Oh, this is where my bird is. We put him outside. Oh, here we go. Cloudpunk's coming in. Hi, driver 14 FC. I'm here to sign you off for your shift. Congratulations on completing your first night. Who are you? I'm Control. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a woman. Your previous Control has stepped down. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your earnings for the evening are above the Cloud Punk driver average. Here's your bonus. Not bad for one night. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Driver 14 FC signing off. Good night, Rania. See you tomorrow. Or will you? Or will you? Pashta, just ner nervous You're back. pacing. I wasn't sleeping. I promise. You should have been. That's what I'm going to do. Is everything okay? Did you get fired? Will you keep working for Cloudpunk? Pashta, I'm so tired I can't even think. Give me a break. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine, you're not in trouble. The sofa is lumpy, and I was cold, even with the blanket. Come in with me, we'll figure out a better system in the morning. I can make breakfast. I read the manual for the food warmer. The microwave? Yeah, did you know how to make? Tomorrow, Pashta, come under the blanket. You're tired. I won't say anything else. I'll be quiet now. Not a word. Silencio. Pushed out. Good night, Rania. Rania. Hey, Rania. Wake up. You have to see this. We got a present. A present? Well, a delivery from Cloudpunk. I think you have it the wrong way around, Pashta. I don't get packages. I deliver them. This one had your name on it. I opened it already. I hope it's okay. What? This is... Camus, you're not gonna believe this. Is it the new body? <gasps> Camus is a doggy! What are we going to do today? Well, we should go outside, I guess. You need to get used to that new frame. I would like to run. I'll race you. I will win. You are much too slow to beat me. Alright, let's get ready. Then we can go explore. It will be nice to see what Navalis is like in the daytime. He's a puppy now. Is it safe to walk around? It's a lot safer than driving. As long as you stay close to us, Pashta. I promise. Can we go to the park? Is there a park? No. Oh, and can we go to the cinemas? No. And the coffee place? No. We're only going to one place, then back home. Gather your things. I'll be with you both in a minute. I have something I need to do. Gather Come your dog on, things. Camus. Help me pack a bag. We'll need snacks. I can help. I'm playing this one for you, Ben. It's a song about home. I don't drink a lot of spirits here in Australia because it's way too expensive. Wow, that's it, baby. We had a nice bottle of uh, scotch. Sarah and I drank. We had some, uh, some Glenlivet not too long ago, but that was because she got it for her birthday. Uh, but that bottle is like $100. Bottle of Glenlivet's like 100 bucks here. For cheap whiskey, it's like $60, $65 a bottle. It's too damn expensive. Great game. But I do like whiskey. <laughs> there she is. Mike Burlack.
Mike Burlack. There he is. So his, his control is the only thing on IMDb for him, actually. People clap, yeah. I'd have to get rid of something to like bring that one in since we've already filled up all the slots, but I could do that. Very good, very good, man. I don't know. I'm not sure. I know that we just filled up all the slots on that one stream where, where I was just like putting in all those emotes. Maybe, maybe a spooky game if I get if I get uh, the key for it. There's a, there's a spooky game I want to play, but I'm waiting to see if I get a key for it. Someday you return. Yeah, that's the one. That's the guy. You're welcome. You are welcome. Thank you. <sighs> I think that uh, it's been a shorter broadcast, but I think we'll probably we'll probably just call it there for the night. We've been doing some pretty long broadcasts lately. Um, if that's it, and then we'll just come back tomorrow with a brand new game to play. I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'm starving, man. I'm hungry. I should I should have eaten something before before the stream. I'm a hungry boy. I guess it just kind of leaves it. I leave it so you can just kind of pick up all the items and stuff. Yeah, <sighs> make some carnitas. Ooh, I don't know what we're gonna make uh, for dinner, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make some dinner for for Sarah and I, and probably probably uh, call it uh, call it a broadcast. Thank you very much, guys. Sorry about this bit of shorter, about four and a half hours of broadcast, much shorter than I wanted it to be, but. We're gonna we're gonna start a new game tomorrow. I'm not sure what. I'll figure out something. The schedule's back on track, starting at 9 p.m. Pacific. If you haven't hit the follow button, please do hit it. Come on back and hang out again. Thank you for all the support lately, guys. It's been insane. Yes. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are. That's gonna be it for me, guys. Cybered Caden, A Greens, BHG Grunch, Ragtop, Cricket, Game Points, Butt Nuts, Doctor, Kyle. Grim Sage, thanks guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna go, um, I didn't really get a lot of sleep last night and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go rectify that. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go fix that. But that's it for me guys, thanks for everything. We'll see you soon everybody, that was a lot of fun. See you soon.